Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm pulling up YouTube so I can see if we're actually on. Mine hasn't YouTube showed up yet. yet. Yours has not showed up yet? No. Mine refresh. hasn't either. Let's oh, there it see. goes. I had to refresh. Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. So happy to see you today. Oops. Hi, everyone. <laughs> it is 12 o'clock. Straight up, there's the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Marianne with Happy Paper People, and with me is my friend and co-host, Candy. Hi, ladies. How are you doing today, Candy? Good, and you? Nice. I'm doing great. I am really doing great today. It's Monday. I had a great weekend. I had a super, super busy weekend with obligations with families and packing orders. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't spend all the time with the family things that uh were going on but because i was spending time packing orders but i did oh squeak in between all the time whoop let me just make sure i'm muted up there whoop there we are okay uh yeah so it was just a morning till night all weekend but it was a good weekend and i feel good i feel good, good. No, yeah, no, I was no, busy no, too. No. Busy rearranging to make room for the switch. Oh, <laughs> I'm nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I got I I okay. Oh, Teresa, Teresa and Sander Lou are here. Seriously about that. Hi, Edna. Edna was our first oh. one in. Awesome, awesome. Hi, I Debbie. Know. Oh, I know Debbie's up to her eyeballs in paperwork. Um, good luck, Debbie. <laughs> we'll keep you occupied. Hey, Margie. Margie's busy eating worms. <laughs> Glennis, Glennis, did you get snow? Okay, we got snow over the weekend. We got four to six inches of snow over the weekend. Oh, it was it seriously was like Christmas. Saturday night it was snowing, and they were like those huge, huge flakes, you know, that like this big that just fall down, and you can see each flake falling down so big and softly. Oh, my YouTube has such a bad delay. Uh, I don't um, even see Edna's comment. Way, way back, the very first one. No, nope, very first one I see is Margie's. Oh, that's crazy. See, I'm so something's oh. weird. <laughs> mm, I wonder if it's because she commented before you got. It shouldn't matter. That shouldn't, shouldn't matter. matter. I, I, Hi, Sylvia. Sylvia's an early bird. That's awesome. That happy paper people's Marianne. That's candy. Yeah, they're going. Stop. Yeah. South? Yeah. Oh, no, they know it's you. They know it's you for I first. forgot, uh, ladies, when I type in StreamYard now, it comes up as her. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tina. So happy to see you. <laughs> and then she switches over to Candy. <laughs> yeah, I had to remember to type in YouTube and not StreamYard. <laughs> hey, Teresa. Happy, happy Monday with happy paper people. Hi, Sandra Lou. How are you? Hey, Laura. Hello, Janet. Z Janet, the Sachi bomb. <laughs> I like her, her last name. <laughs> oh, boy. Jackie's uh, here. Jackie! Jackie, we haven't seen you in so long. You had so much going on in your life. <laughs> I am so happy to see you, Jackie. That's awesome. Okay, so today I was just kind of putting these in order here. Um, today we are making things with one sheet of 12 by 12, uh, paper. And I have 10, we can usually get through about 10 things. So I figured we would see if we could get through 10 of them. If we can't, I was just telling candy before the live that, um, I think I could do 10 more next week. So if you guys like, hi, Kathy, if you guys like the idea um, of, you know, having tons of things that you can do with one sheet of paper, I do because we all have that paper we're trying to use up. Uh, if you want, if we go through 10 and you want more ideas of things to do with one sheet, if you will be sure to let me know towards the end. And if you want, we'll do 10 more next week. So I've got a stack of paper here. This is all just scrapbook paper or cardstock. You could use scrapbook paper or cardstock. Doesn't make any difference. They, they both will work. Um, and especially if you are going to glue it down in a book, then, you know, for sure, scrapbook paper. I don't know which way that's supposed to go. Scrapbook paper is fine because it has the support of the page for sure. 
Um, who is going to make along with us today? I have instructions laid out such that if you want to make along with us, so you have one of each, um, it should be super easy to follow. Candy, you are, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Glynis, if I must. I know. Glennis, 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 you are, right? <laughs> me, 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 she said. <laughs> yes, okay, Kathy. I assume Kathy is. Oh, Sylvia. And Sylvia. Sylvia, um, probably Kathy, maybe Tina. Janet, are you making along with us today? Teresa? Um, Margie will have to go back and do her craft room later and do it, so she'll watch and make notes. Edna, are you going to make along with us? Uh, Open back here. Debbie, okay, there's later. Maki Rigas. <laughs> Maki, that's Maki. Hi, Maki, how are you? Maki Rigaspi, Rigaspi Designs. Rigaspi Designs. Rigaspi, okay. Rigaspi Designs. Rigaspi Designs. She's in. Maki uh, Rigaspi. She's in, That's she's pretty in good. Happy Paper People. She's in Happy Paper People. Hang on. I'm grabbing my phone here. Because... <laughs> Laura says mom will make enough for her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, Maki's name, I will just want you to know so you can recognize her in um, in Happy Paper People. Um her first name in Happy Paper People is Rokihaya hyphen rock Maki. Rokihaya uh, hyphen Maki. So when you'll see that, she's been posting. I'm so excited. Yeah. She's super sweet. I love her. Been getting to know her a little bit. Um, she's been posting in the group. So, so glad that you're here. She's finally making it to a live. That's awesome. Yes. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, so glad you're here. She wants to participate in the mass makes, and I'm very excited for that. So, oh, let me grab. Oh, I did. Did I? I did. I printed it, and I left it sitting on the printer here. Okay, so if you are still making coin envelopes, and Maki, if you missed that one, oops, just bumped the camera. Let me, sorry about that. Uh, Thursday's mass make was coin envelopes. If for some reason you haven't seen that, ooh, look at that bounce on YouTube. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Um, you can go back and watch Thursday's, Thursday of last week. Um, our mass make was coin envelopes. And coin envelopes are nothing new, but we had some super fun closures and um, some new ones. And then some of you even did new ones. I loved the way Sylvia punched the two holes and then the way she drew the string through the holes. Um, to tie. Yeah, that was cute. That was super cute. So yeah, there's even more ways. So if you come up with another way to close them, do it, you know, put it in the group. Make sure you hashtag mass make coin envelopes somewhere on your post. So when I go do a search or actually Glennis does the search. Well, Glennis will pull them all for me because, you know, she's more um, more likely to not miss one than I am. <laughs> so I make sure that the most efficient person there gets that. Um, she will pull all the mass make coin envelopes um, hashtags for me. And we do drawings. And I don't do a drawing on every single one of them, but I never tell you where the, when or where the drawing is. But they are frequent. Okay, so... Today is Monday. So these will just rotate all the time as to like M Monday of the week, Thursday of the week. So Monday is always Monday jumpstart. Thursday is always mass make. And then what follows it is what we did that week. So we haven't done this week's Thursday. So you still have time to get last week's in there. Um, actually, you have time to put it. I, I have some that I have. I just didn't get time or forgot to post. And I will still post them even from a few weeks ago. So please don't think, oh, the week is gone. I can't post those anymore. Go ahead and do that. Coin envelopes, the one sheet wonders, or, you know, anything else that we have done. Um, even if you're doing boho beads, those were fun. I still need some, have some that I need to finish. Okay, so today we're calling one sheet wonders, Monday, hashtag Monday jumpstart one sheet wonder. Although if you are a card maker, you probably know I believe the original one sheet wonder was taking one piece of of 12 by 12 paper and cutting it up in multiple ways to make maybe even as many as a dozen 
but it could be eight, nine, ten cards from one sheet. Um, of course, using you know white bases or colored bases or something like that. This is not that type of one sheet wonder. This is a junk journal one sheet wonder, or I should just say a book one sheet wonder. These are elements or projects that you can use by themselves. A lot of them are wonderful for happy mail because they're nice, flat uh, for mailing, stuffing and mailing. Uh, but they all go really well into journals and books. So it is the book uh, version of One Sheet Wonder. So hashtag Monday Jumpstart One Sheet Wonder is today's hashtag. Don't forget um, to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And here's the key on that little bell. Make sure that you, when you click the bell, you don't just click the bell, but that you click it and look at, there's three options there. Click on the all on the top. Otherwise, you don't get the notifications for all of these things. You might not get the jump start. You might only get the mass makes or, you know, vice versa or the Saturday Night Lives. So if you click on the all, at least it will bring into your feed or send you an email or something, uh, whatever you've got your notifications set for. Of any time we post a new video, go live, you know, do one of these events. So uh, don't forget to do that. But don't forget to come back after the live is over and comment on the video and somewhere in the comment, leave hashtag 1000 subs. Now, if you put that in the comments here today, it does not stay. We love it because this is where we're headed, but it doesn't stay there in the comments. If you put it in chat, it doesn't stay in comments. So you have to come back after the live is over and you may comment on any video that is on the Happy Paper People YouTube channel, any of the videos, because that one I will pull um, a, I will pull hashtag 1000 subs as a search from all of the videos. So um, you may watch any of them or all of them and write a comment, you know, make the comment more than two or three words and then hashtag 1000 subs. And the only reason I say that is because uh, YouTube changes their algorithm all the time. And one, things that, one thing it looks at right now is, are the comments interactive? Or are the comments, you know, more, are the comments more than five words or are they less? Are they like, like, great job, you know, or love this, you know? And that's hard because oftentimes that's all I have time to do. I just want people to know that I watched it and I really do love it. And so I want to put a comment there and I'd rather have that than nothing at all. But um, if you have time, even just to make a full sentence out of it, that would be amazing because of the way YouTube has now altered their algorithm once again. And somewhere in there, of course, that would count as a word. So, you know, leave hashtag 1000 subs. I have a box. It is a flat rate box and I have been tossing things into it. And that box is going to be full and is going to be shipped to somebody who is going to get drawn. Um, as soon as we hit a thousand, someone's going to get drawn and um, win that box. Um, if that box is overflowing and it needs to go into two boxes, then we will have two drawings and draw two people. So, because I just keep, well, you know, I find things that in the shop, I only have one or two left, or I think, oh, this is cool because we used it. A lot of people didn't have it. I have tossed it in, that kind of thing. And I've gotten a bunch of uh, messages this week asking about the sale. Our next sale <clears throat> is coming up the last weekend of March, which is March 25th and 26th. That is a Friday and a Saturday. Um, uh, oh, shoot. Can you hold just mint ca candy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maki, that's the number 1,000 for the hashtag. Put it just like she has it on that piece of paper. Hi, J Hi Angie. I was trying to get Marianne's attention, but she kept talking. I didn't want to interrupt her. <laughs> to let her know you're here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was Doug's ringtone. <laughs> Hope everybody had a good weekend. And you guys can keep all the snow where you have it. We don't want it down here. <laughs> it's been spring-like here. I had to actually turn on the... Uh,
air conditioning. <laughs> the other day. Yeah, the air conditioner's on now. Okay. Sorry, Angie. Mama. Angie's here. Hey, Angie. She came in. Angie Margie had a boring weekend. Almost pain-free foot. I'm so happy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Margie, boring weekend. <laughs> uh, I just saw that comment. Um, that's why I print this. I got it, here. yeah. You can see this her. is exactly how you need to do it, just like this. Hashtag 1000, the number 1000, 1000, 1000 subs. Hashtag 1000 subs. Zero. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I am bragging, Sylvia. It's nice down here. We keep it that way. I don't want no snow. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, bragging about her good weather. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we have sun today, but tomorrow we're supposed to have snow again Tuesday and Wednesday. So yay for us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. we get nice weather in March, but we get tornadoes a lot. It's oh, that's true. Too. I will brag that we don't get tornadoes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Um sale March 25th and 26th is a Friday and a Saturday. Um I haven't met with the sales team yet, but um likely typically unless we all have conflicting schedules, we typically do a a segment Friday afternoon, a segment Friday evening, a segment Saturday morning and a segment Saturday afternoon. So there are four segments. And that we will have different things at every single sale. We do not repeat, um, you know, from segment to segment. So I can tell you that this time there will be brand new Stamperia. Um, the collection, the last four brand new collections came in the day after the sale. So I've got those. However, some of you might be aware that they already released three more collections. One of them is Sir Vagabond Aviation. That is going to arrive this week. I just got the message today from DHL. That'll be here this week. So we that will have so that. pretty ladies. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, uh, we will have that for the sale for sure. Um, the newest, so that is seven brand new Stamperia collections that we will have. So if you're like me, you better save up because I already blew my entire budget on all of those, seven of those. Uh, all right. Marcia, then, I don't have snakes and gators mean ones. They're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to avoid them. <laughs> you don't have mean ones. You have the nice ones. Is that uh, well, when when you've had 50 snakes in your house I at one time. I was just going to say, I won't the ones outside don't bother you too snakes. much. Snakes. We don't have those snakes anymore, but my husband hasn't met a snake he doesn't like. Yeah, I'll bet. So. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell them that you used to raise snakes, so that's <laughs> nothing to you. <laughs> no. And oh, he man. caught a baby gator he once, too. So, Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I rescued got, him. He got I run over. Be super cool. <laughs> well, he, he got hit. He got hit on one of the roads here on the, one of the oh, back road. And, and he was kind of just, people were just kind of standing around just looking at it. So he, oh. he, we got oh, it. We took it to a friend that had some caimans, and he took he yeah. nursed them back to health. And then oh, go. that's awesome! I'm glad they did. Yeah, um, I I'm think sure we probably, probably, probably could have gotten in trouble for that, but he just he couldn't leave it there. It was just well, yeah. I don't blame him. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to see if I can do this. Believe in this stack here, so I can just keep drawing from this stack. And I've got the ten things. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to need a scoreboard you're going to need a paper trimmer hopefully this blade, hold, blade holds out for one more day <laughs> you're going to need some glue adhesive of some sort got a couple of them right here you may or may not want a corner rounder it's up to you decides if it depends if you want to round corners and those, most of those can always be done later if you choose to. Um, and you may or may not want a circle punch to punch thumb holes. Again, totally up to you. Some people uh, like to or do it always and others don't. I'm going to put this back up here for now. And honestly, I think that is all you need. I think so. I know, Sylvia, it's the other way around. Red and yellow can kill a fellow. 
red and black is friend of Jack. That's for the coral snake and the milk snake because they look alike. Oh, yeah. Red and yellow can kill a fella. Yeah, red and yellow kill a fella. Well, look at Margie. <laughs> look at this. Thank you, Margie. Mar Margie's my big supporter, and I appreciate her. <laughs> if I don't sell something, I can't keep doing this. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, go I've already bought all. The, I've time. already bought all the aviator. <laughs> yeah, I'm broke. Too. <laughs> I'm broken. It hasn't even got here yet. <laughs> oh my goodness! I know it has, it, it's gonna be here by Friday. They guaranteed me, and um, I cannot wait. I cannot wait, and I'll tell you that Savannah with the elephants and um, giraffe. Oh yeah, that one broke all me right. too, ladies. <laughs> I didn't think I I didn't think I would be all that crazy about it. I didn't think I would have any interest in buying it. Boy, was I wrong. It is very, very cool. Very yeah. Wow. Wow. Very pretty. We've got rice paper and singles and all the paper pads and um chipboard. Oh, you, you might want a bone folder. You'll need well, you need a scoring tool. That's what you need. You know that. If you've got a scoreboard, you need a scoring tool. Um, chipboard die cuts and all this stuff. So they are fun. They are very, very fun. Okay, so let's do first one. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna start at super, super simple. So just in case you're not awake, it'll be <laughs> super, super simple, and we'll move up, you know, from there. So the first one, you know, you only have to be half awake for. And you're going to go, oh, my goodness, Marianne, that is just so easy. I mean, anybody could do that. It is true. It is true. But I told you we're going to start it super simple. This one is just an envelope and a card. Now, here's the other thing. When I show you these, your brain is going to go 50 miles an hour, and you're going to think of five different ways you could alter it and do it a little bit differently. And that's awesome. Um, I had to hold myself back from doing that. Um, some of them, I like, I wanted to make six of them and show you six different alternatives, you know, or different ways or whatever. And none of these are embellished. We could do a whole nother day on just embellishing some of these and ideas for that, um, you know, and other ways to use them. We could do a mass make on any of these, not this one. I mean, you could mass make mass make on your own on this one. It's just too simple. But we could do a mass make on any of these that we want to make a whole bunch of and do it together. But this is, um, this will fit in a, or this, I'm sorry, this envelope will go in the mail. So you could actually just seal it up and mail it. Um, and so you could put other things in as well, but it's a nice card. You could write an entire little letter on here. You could also take this piece and cut it up into smaller things and make a bunch of things if you wanted to use it as an ephemera envelope to put into a book or a journal. Okay, so there's one and here is a black and white version. A lot of us really like the black and white with a little bit of sparkle on it. <clears throat> okay, so here's how we're going to do. We're going to take a sheet of 12 by 12. And we're going to cut it at 7 inches. So put that on your trimmer. Cut it at seven inches. That will leave you with a seven and a five inch piece, right? I'll move that over for a second. You're going to take the seven inch piece. You've got a seven and a five. Take the seven inch piece and you're going to score it at three and a half inches and nine inches. So three and a half and nine inches. Okay, and then the five inch piece, you're going to score at six. <clears throat> I'm whipping right through this one because I think it's so simple. You guys are probably already done with it. Okay, hold the five inch piece in half at the six and there's your card. Now, if you fold it and it's not exactly even, because it rarely is, no big deal. Just grab your paper trimmer and clean it up if you want to. There we go. Now it's even. <clears throat> the other, oops, and don't throw your paper 
them are on the floor. You're not completely done with it. <clears throat> okay, and this is where then you choose whether you want to round your corners or not. I do like rounded corners. I think it makes it just a little softer. Drop all those over to the edge. And you can do each one individually or do them together if you like, depending on what you think your corner rounder can handle. There's the card. Going back to the um, envelope itself, I'm going to round the corners before I fold and glue it. So a quick there. You're going to fold the um, biggest end. So the two scored ends are not the same length. One of these is wider than the other. You're going to fold the wider one up to be the envelope portion. You know what? I'm going to go the other way because I want the orange to be the outside. That's what I'm going to do. There. Okay, the wider one up to be the uh, envelope portion. You're going to put some glue just down the two sides. Okay, and when we're done with this one, I need to know if anybody's not awake yet because that was so simple. I got one more that's super simple like that. Well, maybe two. Now one. Just to make sure you're awake. And then we're going into it. But those of you who are making along, I do want to make sure that, you, that you're with us and you don't miss anything. Maki, are you making with us today? Okay, then fold the top one down. And there's your envelope, literally ready to go. So you can totally embellish this, dress it up, do all kinds of things to it. It can go in the mail. It can go in a book. It's not the fastest drying glue, but it's still pretty quick. And there you go. So we could um, mass make, we could actually do a mass make where we take a half an hour and mass make 30 of these, one a minute. And then we could um, take the other hour and a half and embellish some of them. If, um, if you guys will make a note or maybe type in when we do that one, if there's a particular one that you think you'd like to mass make, or if there's one that you'd like to do um, embellishment on, and we could probably mass make a couple on the same mass make, and we could um, embellish or decorate more than one on the same mass make. Okay, so that's number one. Everybody there? Margie, Margie's sleeping. She says, what, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Still asleep, okay. Nobody Everybody. said, get out, I made a pretty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Laura says she amazed herself. She There's people in her latest journal, tiny, heavily distressed people. You have to squint to see, but they're still there. But they're still people. Yay, Laura. <laughs> okay. So Maki, Maki is watching. She's in, she's in class. She's triple tasking <laughs> right now. Really in class, triple tasking. Okay. Maki will go back and make them later. I'm, I'm confident about that. Okay. So there is number one. Let's set that one aside. Okay, number two. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess that didn't want to sit on the edge of my desk because I really needed the space anyway. So, okay. Okay, number two is literally just about as simple. And this one is a folder. This one is a six by eight folder. It so it will fit into your books. You do kind of standard size books. But again, remember you can um, make these any size you want. So this one especially, you could cut this down and make it much smaller to fit into any book you want. Okay, I didn't round the corners on these, but I think I'm going to. I will on the next one, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I didn't decide. Okay, here's what I did differently, just to just for you to see. I put a thumb hole on this one and I didn't on this one. Does it really matter? Okay, grab a six by six piece of paper. We're going to score it at six inches. You mean 12 by 12 piece of paper. Thank you, Candy. <laughs> just, I'm just seeing if they're awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I mean a 12 by 12. I'm just checking to see if they're awake. Because I don't know, I'm I'm not confident that yet that they are. <laughs> I'm going to use this brown polka dot one. 
because that leaves a lot of room for embellishment with a neutral color and the polka dots. I have to cut off my branding strip first. If you cut off the branding strip on, on any of them, and it happens to be the same print, because I have some where it, you know it's the branding strip because it's got the hole in the middle of it, but it's the same print continued up. Definitely keep that because there's a couple of projects we could use that on. Okay, so 12 by 12, cut it in half. I didn't no, say cut it said, in half. Marianne. You said score it. I said score <laughs> it by six. All right, well, it's now going to be made into mini ones later. <laughs> Why did I even grab my cutter? Who is not awake? Who's not awake, Candy? <laughs> Mary Ann. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Let's grab. Oh, I do have one more of those brown ones. I'm gonna take that one. I I grabbed the cutter to cut off the branding strip, not to cut the paper. Oh goodness. Yeah, I spent a day just cutting branding strips off of all my paper before I put really? it away. So you yeah, have to deal with it later? Yes. Yeah. And it fit better in the bins I had. Ah. And the in the in the vertical storage I was. Do you think using. it was worth the time? Yes. To do that? Yeah. Because uh, I, I was just sitting there watching videos and cutting oh, off branding there you strips. Go. I never thought about doing that, but that's kind of a good idea, yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay, so scored at six, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, turn it, score it at four. Just, just turn it. It doesn't matter which direction. Um, and this is assuming you're using non-directional paper. On all of these, non-directional paper is going to be your easiest. That doesn't mean that that's the only thing you can use, but it is the easiest. And maybe for the first one, you want to use either solid color or non-directional so you can make it, keep it as a template. Okay, now what you're going to do is fold it on the six inch score. Let's see. Okay, fold it on the six inch score. So as I'm looking at it, I have this four inch score mark, which we know is going on the bottom, but I'm gonna put it on the top for a minute. I'm looking for my scissors that I know I carried back in here. Please tell me. I, yes, I did. Okay. Um, okay. So I've got the four inch score mark up to the top. I'm going to cut out this score mark. And there's two ways you can do that. You can come over here and you can cut literally up one side of the score mark and then cut up the other side of the score mark and then just kind of pull it out. It's just a, just a fraction, you know, that you're cutting out. For me, I find it a little easier even to use the trimmer, but I'll use scissors. I start at the score mark and just go in just a hair and I'm just gonna cut like that just to cut out that score mark. Oh, Carolyn's here. Hey, Carolyn. She's at hospice watching over her mom. Oh, um, our prayers So this is a great distraction. Mom. Oh, yeah, so prayers for your mom, Carolyn. Here. Prayers for you and your mom. And so glad that you're here. Okay, so when I cut out that score mark, this is what I get. Just this little tiny strip. So, so I need to make all kinds of mistakes to um, entertain her? Is that what she's, <laughs> that's, you know? So that, if I make mistakes, ladies, I'm doing it on purpose, okay? It, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, can, wait a minute, Candy, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> can be fantastic with making the mistakes for entertainment purposes. Okay, so you're going to cut out that score mark. I find it easiest just to fold it and cut from up here. Okay, it doesn't matter exactly how wide it is, but the point is to get some air in there, to get a gap in there. Then you're going to flip it over and fold it up on the four inch score marks. And then you're going to glue the two outside. Um, my suggestion on gluing flaps down is always put the glue on the smallest piece of the two that are being glued together. Because if you put it on the larger one, you really don't know exactly where to stop with the glue. 
you put it on the shorter piece, you know where to stop, where the piece ends. So I'm going to glue the outside. Now you may choose to glue the inside. That is a personal choice. So that when there are options, I will let you know so that you can choose. I'm going to show you without. The reason for cutting out that score mark is so when we fold this, notice how nice and flat and thin this folds. If you wanted to mail this with stuff in it, your, your bulk just went down tremendously because just because we put a tiny gap in there. I like to leave it open. I think it gives me a little bit more room in the pockets. If you want to um, glue the inside down for that pocket, you can do that as well. That's the optional part. Okay. You can also make expanders to put in there too. Yes. A little, you little could hinge, do, a little hinge. Yes. You could do um, a gusset on this end or you could That's do a gusset on both of them. <laughs> <laughs> See, Candy's already going there. That's what I said when you make this, your brain is going to go six different ways I could alter that or do it differently. Well, this I've just found these, usually when you glue them down, they're so tight, you can't get anything in there. Yeah, which so is why I've, I leave this inside open. Yeah. But then, you know, if you know, if you already know what you want to use it for and you know you need a bigger pocket, I would put two score marks down the middle on the six inch. I would do yeah. it at six and I would do it at six and one eighth. And so you have a little bit bigger of a fold. It's almost like a spine, but it's very, very tiny. And then like yeah. Candy said, put some gussets. Um, and we yeah. can do that on another day. We know we could do another day. I just, I've got to where I just, where I just use a little tiny gusset, just a little one, just, just uh, enough yeah. to give it a little bit of space in there so I can get things in and out easier. It's, just to give you that eighth of an inch or quarter of an yeah, inch. Yeah, that's it. You want to yeah, put I in. don't do a big yep. one anymore, but. No. Nope. Okay. So that is super easy. And then this is. A Morning, good Lucy. Easy. But morning, Lucy. <clears throat> these go really nicely into books. And you can make these any size at all. And that's what's nice about them. Mm, you can cut it down and make a little one that can go into a smaller book. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but that's using one 12 by 12 piece of paper. You could make it half the size and get two out of one 12 by 12. Okay. So that is number two. I better stack these over here so I don't end up with those falling. One, two. Let me put my top on the glue. All right. Ready to get a little more uh, thought requiring? <laughs> Bad one. I don't know. <laughs> okay, those two you could do in your sleep. <laughs> Sylvia said, hey, I made a second break in spite of the Cut, no score. Wait, score. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so we did that one. Just want to make sure I'm marking them off as we do them. And there's the third page. pages. I need to move this guy out of the way. That one. Wait a minute. Where did the third page go? Uh-oh. Spaghetti, y'all. This page. I was writing on it when we went live. I know it is right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like seriously it was it's on the floor it's on the floor uh, yeah that's <laughs> the gremlins the gremlins <laughs> i'm learning i'm learning that i have gremlins too i do okay so that is uh, yes, you little suckers <laughs> yeah funny thing is they have the same taste as me and so they keep stealing my stuff they hide it from me yeah <laughs> I'm like, I didn't put that there. <laughs> uh, okay. Next we're going to do, mine is usually, where did I put it? <laughs> no, the gremlins put it. In there, that one. Margie's got them too. She hates them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. The next one I would also consider very easy. Um maybe one notch more than the, the ones we just did, but still very easy. 
So these are the three that I chose for the easy, easy, easy category. And this one is a triple pocket. So you have a pocket on this side, you have a pocket on this side, and you have a pocket down the middle. And these, again, you can make them any size you want so they can fit in any size book. Um, but they're wonderful to, to stick into a book or to put in as a flip out in a book and have tags in here and tags in here and maybe a little writing notebook in there. You know, all kinds of we love Tudden, Tudden Hicks, Tudden, Hidden Tucks. <laughs> hidden tucks and, and you know finding things in journals I mean and you look at this and you're like it's really really simple and all the things that you could do with it you could add a band right here that you could tuck more things in you could add a flip out on there just yeah tons of things so there's two versions or two of the same one two different papers all right so we're grabbing a 12 by 12 we're going to use for this one uh, we'll use this. This is pretty. Okay, 12 by 12 here. And we are going to score it at six. Score, Sylvia. Score at six. <laughs> score at six. Now this, I thought it was non-directional paper. I guess it's directional because there is writing in the background. The writing is upright. So if you have something that's directional, you're writing one, you'd want it to be upright in front of you like that as you score up and down. Okay. But I really try to make these out of non-directional paper when we're doing it like this because you don't have to stop and think about what direction to make things go. Um, okay, so then we're going to do start out the same as we did the last one and we're going to turn it and score at four inches because, you know, we still need a fold up pocket there. <clears throat> so turn and score at four while well, I'm doing this one. I think Candy's doing three. Or maybe four. <laughs> no, I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. No, you could do three or four at the same time. That's okay, because it is pretty slow. I just want to not leave anyone behind. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is scrapbook paper that I printed on the back of Sylvia. Oh, sweet. That's a really so this, good idea. This is printed. The side was what? Oh, that's, was that that Heidi Swap? Uh that's uh, I don't know. I like I, I have a ton of it, and so but oh, it's all it's one sided, and I I'm like, I huh. The so I yeah. printed. I put a bunch of ledgers together, put an yeah. overlay on it, and printed it. Wow, that looks really neat. Okay, taking a drink there. All right, so now we are going to fold it on the six inch score, and if you fold it this way. Obviously, this is going to be your outside. If you fold it this way, this is going to be your outside. So fold it to whichever side you want to be the outside. <clears throat> Open it back up and fold it on the four inch score. Probably should have done that first. Leave the side that you want the outside facing up and then fold the four inch score up. So your inside now becomes the pocket. Okay, and then when you fold it back on your sixth inch. Now, here's where you have an option um, that you will need to choose. Some people do not like to cut this center. You wanna just do this and then glue this side. Other people don't like the way it lays because it just doesn't have enough room and it needs that little, you know, breathing space. So you can, don't cut the score mark out, but just one cut down the center there. In fact, I'll do that. From the end, only up to the six inch score mark. All I want to cut is this four inch strip. So if you want it to lay a little flatter, a little better, do that. Just make one cut. And then when you fold this, it does lay flatter, nicer, better, whatever, you know. Now, if you want to round the corners and if you want to punch a thumb notch in there, now is the time to do the thumb notch. Um, 
I think I'm going to use this one, smaller one, for the thumb notch. Flip to the other side and do it. I'm not going to do the top thumb notch until it's all glued. That way the front and back are together exactly as they're going to be, and I will punch them together so that they equal so I don't see one over the other because it was a little too wampus and I punched it and then glued it and it straightened out. So I'm just going to do like that, punch that thumb notch there. I can hardly see it. Might end up distressing it when I go to use it. Who knows? I think that's a weird back to put with that. It just doesn't seem like a color I would put with that front. Do you agree? I like the back and I like the front. I just don't think I would put them together. It's odd to me. But that's okay. It just means I'll want to embellish it a lot. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to glue both sides of both pockets. So just a little bead of glue. By the way, most of you probably remember, and I forgot to mention, if you have any questions, I'm sure you haven't so far because they've been super easy. But if you have any questions, if you can remember to put four question marks and then type your question in caps, it makes it stand out a whole lot more so that Candy can see it at a glance to tell me. I'm not going to look at chat a lot on this because if I do, we won't get through 10 because we're going to be pushing it to get through 10 anyway. So... <clears throat> I don't want to miss your questions if there are any. I'm just not going to have the opportunity to look at chat much. So if you do that, it'll jump out to Candy. It just makes it easier for me to ignore them, lady. <laughs> <laughs> no questions. She ignores you. Great. <laughs> I will go back and read all the comments later because hey, Laura. <laughs> Laura said her mom's got a cat that steals washi tape. Marge said she used to have one that stole rubber stamps. <laughs> oh, I love Lucy that. said, my cat brought up a bottle of art glitter glue, art glitter glue and a manila oh. folder last night for my craft space. He tends no. to bring up lots of different items. No. <laughs> <laughs> the oh. messy palette's here. Good morning. Hi, Di. How are you? Good to see you. And Candy has one that just lays right across the center of her desk so she can't do anything anyway. Uh, on the keyboard. He lay, she lays right on top of the keyboard. I, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now when you have your, your uh, flaps glued down, then you just do one bead of glue up the side and glue the whole thing down. I guess I should be whipping through this one a little faster so we can get to the ones that may require a little more time. Do you glue the bottom too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, you just said the side. I I'm did, like, didn't I? Be, uh, yeah, I don't. I was thinking about. I bet I better move faster, and I didn't. Yes, glue across the bottom and the side, two sides, so that you have it closed on three sides to make just your top opening. Now I will go do my top thumb hole because my two sides are together where they're going to stay. So when I do that, I know the punch is together. If you wanted to round the corners. You could do that now as well. You could do it before too. But when they're like this, I like to round them together or punch them together so that I know that they stay together and I'm not going to see one after the other. You don't have to round the bottom ones. You don't have to round any of them actually. And if you round it and it cuts off your glue and you have a little open spot, you just stick a little bit more glue in there. Okay, so there we go, number three. All right, let's put top back on the glue. So I won't have to spend time on sticking it again. Okay, number four. Oops, don't slide off. Okay. Let me mark that one. <laughs> Laura, Lucy said when he was a kitten, he tried to bring up a large bag of felted wool sweaters. Oh, <laughs> he was heavy. <laughs> He got them across the whole basement, but he could not bring them up the stairs. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Messy Pallet said her dog is too lazy to annoy me. That annoys me, she said. <laughs> uh, Lucy, is yeah. it a big cat? <laughs> Must be now. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. 
Okay, next thing we're going to make is a little flip book. Oh, and Angie's cat likes to drink her paint water. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. yeah, mine likes to knock it over, so. Oh, man. Mine doesn't come near it, so I think I should be grateful, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, flip book. The basic way is just staple it together. And here's what it looks like when we're done. Whoop, yeah, because I can't even flip through it. I did a couple of them upside down, put them in backwards. That's okay. Or you can put a string through it and tie it. And again, you can probably think of five other ways to bind it right now. My thought was staple them all. And then I'll just put something over there like a piece of lace, like it's a little book. Um, I also had a thought of putting four or five of them together to make a literal uh, mini journal there and then put something over the spine. Um, I'd probably uh, tie them all together because it's probably too thick to staple and then cover the spine and then just decorate them as a mini book. So here's how we make this super simple. One sheet of 12 by 12. What are we gonna use? Um, it's something that doesn't have too dark of a background. Well, not a background, a back side. <clears throat> Let me dig down in here. What's down in here? Okay. It's really light. Nice to do. All right. So I am going to have to, you're going to need your trimmer for this one. I'm going to have to cut off the branding strip to start. And then we are going to cut it into three pieces of four inches each. So you'll put it in the paper trimmer, cut four inches, move it to four inches, cut another four inches, and then you should have four inches left. So I'm going to start out with four inches. Oh, that piece of paper has gotten mangled. Four. Four. And that should leave me four. If for some reason the last one is not four, I can trim it up. If it's smaller, it would work too. It wouldn't matter. Okay. So here's my three pieces of four inches each. Yeah, the edge of that one really got mangled. Ooh, it's already distressed. Yay. All I have to do is ink it and it looks old. Um. Okay. So two of the pieces... Well, first of all, I want you to look at these three pieces, and if there's something on the front or the back, one of these is going to be the cover, this being the cover. Pick the one that you want to be the cover. Uh, for me, these are all the same. Doesn't really matter. I think I'd rather have the flowers on the cover than the, I don't know, I kind of like the stripes. The, the flowers are light, so I can embellish over those as well. So I'm going to use um, this one as the cover. Oh, wait a minute. Before, before, before we do that, we need to score it. We're going to score all of them the same, all three of them. Score them at five and a half, at six, and six and a half. So five and a half, six, and six and a half. There's one. And next one. Five and a half, six, and six and a half. Somebody asked Julie why she's why she's online but not watching us, not here with us, chatting. She's stuck in the cabin. <laughs> she's sending stuff. Margie, message Julie and ask her to get on live with us. She's bored sitting in the cabin. She can't usually make it because of work, so she probably forgot that we're even on. Okay, so five and a half, six, and six and a half. They are all three scored, right? Now I'm going to pick the one that I'm going to use as the cover. That's this one. I'm going to set this one aside just for a minute. The other two, I'm going to fold exactly the same. I'm going to fold it in the center. But were they five and a half, six and six and a half, right? Five and a half, six, six and a half. So I'm going to fold it at the six inch mark, which is right in the center. 
Okay, and then I'm going to fold it back, backwards on the six and a half, turn it over and fold it backwards on the six and a half. So I should have something that looks like this with the little mountain. So I folded it in half on the six. I'm going to fold it backwards on the six and a half or five and a half, turn it over and fold it backwards on the other one. So these two pieces should look exactly alike. Okay, hopefully everybody's there. Thank you, Margie. Do that again. I was scoring. Okay. Missed it. Fold it. Okay, fold it in half at the six. And then just put your fingers on that, that okay. spot there and fold it backwards. Okay. On the next one, flip it over, fold it backwards on the other one. So then you end up like this. All right. Got it. it. Okay. Now, the third one, I, um, I'm just going to stack these two together here for, no, I, well, that's okay. Yeah. Stack them together. That's fine. Um, the third one I'm going to bring up. And we're going to turn it over. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it from the opposite side. So fold it in half at the six and then fold it back, flip it over and fold it back. So you've used all three score marks. So you have the same thing, the little mountain in the middle, but it's on the opposite side of the paper. So then you should have three that all look the same with the little mountain, but two with one side of the paper showing, one with the third side of the paper, right? So now you want to take one and take one of the one of the two that are the same. <laughs> and I messed up. I said this one was going to be the cover and it's not. Pick one of the two that's the same to be that's going to be your cover. They're they're pretty all, all the same if you're using non-directional paper. Put it over top of the one that you folded backwards and then put that one over top of the third one. And so you have the three all stacked together with their little mountains like that. But you're seeing one side, the opposite side, and then the one side again. Okay. Hi, Julie. <laughs> okay. So stack those together. Make sure that they're stuck deep down in there. Oh. Grab your stapler. Staple once, staple twice, and there's your mini notebook. Isn't that easy? Now, they never, ever line up exactly. You always have this. Don't think you did it wrong. They can't because all these papers are the exact same length. And when they fold, every one that's on top of another one has to go farther to reach the end. So they're not going to line up exactly. So all you do is grab your trimmer or grab your scissors and just trim it up if you want to. Some people like to leave them like that because if you're putting it in a junk journal, they wanna distress it up and leave it to look like it's been um, junked up with paper and ink and, and is not perfectly even. So that is another optional, completely up to you. And then you have a little flip book. If you wanted to um, tie a string on it, all you do is punch a couple of holes and tie your string around it, a ribbon or whatever it is. Okay. So there is, what number is that, Candy? So <laughs> is that five? I don't um, know. Who's counting? Two, three, four. That's number four? Uh-oh. That's only four. I better get hurrying because. Yep, that's four because you did okay. the. Okay, then let's 
Let's get to moving. Envelope, the folder, the pocket, and this one. Okay. All right. Pick another 12 by 12 piece of paper. Let's see here. It's raining where Julie's at. Oh, yeah. They're, they're like rained in the cabin. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So here's a 12 by 12 piece of paper. This is what we are going to make. It is a mini flip book. Opens this way. Opens this way. And inside is a little accordion. And, oh, I didn't. I did. I showed it to you upside down. Okay. Opens this way. Opens this way. And the mini flip book. And... There's a pocket here, and there's a pocket here. Maybe I should cut out both sides of that so it could be seen. But let me show you this one. It might show up a little bit better. Okay, here's an example of what I was saying. If you have, if the branding strip on the top is the same paper, it was the exact same paper. When I cut it off, um, it, I, you know, it just has the hole in it. So I saved this, and I used it as a belly band on this one. So it opens. It opens. And then when I pull this out, I have a pocket here and I have a pocket here. And I've got tons of writing space or space to put pockets and tucks and things on it to fill with tags and the whole back. And this is awesome to stick in journals. It doesn't take up much space at all. So they're or to stick in, in the mail as a gift by itself. Okay, so. We are going to take this one and cut it into three even pieces of four inches each. I seem to like that four inch piece, huh? All right, so I'm going to cut this into four inches. Move it up four inches and I should have four inches left. Okay. That's all we need the trimmer for. <clears throat> okay. Now this one um, definitely you can choose which of the three pieces, if it makes any difference to you, which of the three pieces do you want as your cover? I don't even know which way they went. Is this the way they went? I guess it went that way. Okay. Which I need a new, to, look at that candy. I need a new blade in my trimmer so bad. <laughs> Overnight, just last night, boom, it died. <laughs> okay, so if there's one of these that you would like as your um, cover, this one has a little, um, all anything on here is way in the background, but this has a pretty rose over here that if I use that as the cover, that will show up right there. So I'm going to choose that one. Okay, so pick which one you want as the cover. And move the other two to the side. And on the cover, we are going to score. Okay. This one has a bunch of score. But they're super easy. If you don't, don't just listen to numbers and get confused. But just but follow me here. Um, first score is at three and three quarters. The next score is three and seven eighths. If you don't like all the... the, the um, Fractions, three and seven eighths is just the next notch over. So three and a quarter and three and seven eighths, it's one notch apart. Three and three quarters, didn't you say? Yes, three and three quarters. Three quarters and three and, three and, three and thank you, Candy. Three and three. Wow. What ha what happens? <laughs> three and three quarters and three and seven eighths. All you're doing is making this tiny little eighth of an inch strip. They're one score mark apart. So you're just making a little eighth of an inch groove in there like that. Okay. So leave that. Bye, there. Julie. She better go Bye, for her Wi-Fi. She okay, has her Wi-Fi. So now go up here and you're going to score at eight 
and one eighth and eight and a quarter. And it's the exact same thing. Eight and one eighth is right between eight and eight and a quarter. And it's right next to eight and a quarter. So again, you're just doing two side by side that give you that tiny little groove. Yeah, this is we almost bring it all the way to the top. There we go. So it should look like this. I don't like scoring on this thing. Two tiny little grooves side by side. Okay. So now set that one aside and grab the other two. The other two, you're going to score both of them the same. And they are going to be scored at four. and at eight. I can usually not put it up so close to the top. I can't do the score mark. Did you say the next one's four and eight? Four and eight. The other two are four and eight. I had to switch scoreboards. That one quits ah. it. The all-in-one <laughs> quits at six and a half. Oh, yeah, I have that small one too, which I love. I use it all the time. Well, it's not, it has but, the arm that comes out, but you don't. Oh, mine doesn't so have can, an arm. You can, you, can, you can mark it, but then I can't see the mark yeah, when I turn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust myself. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now on these two that we just scored at um, four and eight we're going to cut a thumb notch out of the left end of both of them out of the top so this is the first one i'm going to go up here and get a thumb notch left end the next one the left end thumb notch there we go as they all jump off the page. Okay, you all with me? Then you need your glue. The scores again, uh, Angie, on the cover or on, on these two pieces, you're only scoring at four and eight. Both of them exactly the same, score at four and eight. And if you haven't done the cover yet, we'll go back to that. But just do these so we can put the center together. Score at four and eight, score at four and eight. Cut a thumb notch on the left end piece of both of them. Now you're going to take one of them. So it doesn't matter, just take the second one and you're going to glue the left piece with the thumb notch to the right end piece of the first one like this but you're only going to glue it on three sides so that you have an open pocket on the top okay so i'm going to let me first look and just make sure that it fits fine i don't want to cover that score mark you need to have it's got to have room to, to, to um fold here so make sure that you don't get it all the way up to that score mark. Up to it, but not on it. Okay, so that'll be fine. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to just do it on the bottom one. I don't do straight lines of glue any better than I do straight cutting. There we go. And then I'm going to set this one on top of what? I moved my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> so the left end thumb, uh, thumb notched of one of them is going on to the right end of the other one. Those two pieces were identical. It doesn't matter which one. But the left end of one goes on to the right end of the other one. 
and there's the thumb notch. This is the left end of the, the right one. And that's the right end of the left one. And I glued it on three sides. Everybody there? Okay. So now back to the cover. Um, Angie, if you needed the cover again, the cover scored at three and three quarters and three and seven eighths, which are the two notches right next to each other. And then eight and an eighth and eighth and a quarter and eight and a quarter, which are right next to each other, just to give you a little bit of wiggle room there. Okay, we're going to flip that over because this is the outside of my cover that I chose. I'm going to flip that over. Here's the inside. And now I'm going to glue the left thumb notch of this whole long one now. These two are together. So I'm going to the far left thumb notch that's left, and I'm going to glue that in the center. Now, take a look at it before you glue it down. Notice that it does not fill up that whole center piece. That's okay. You don't want it to because when you get this accordion stacked up, it needs extra room. When you get things stuffed in the pockets or you decide to put pockets and tucks, you know, and tags and things in the other little spaces, it's going to need room to close. That's why the centerpiece is larger than this piece here. So I'm going to look at it and, and get an idea of kind of where it's centered. That leaves enough extra space on both sides for filling it. And then I'm going to put the glue this time on the smaller piece. Remember when you're gluing two pieces together, always put the glue on the smaller or shorter piece. If I put it on the larger one, I can't really tell exactly where it's going to be. And remember, don't glue up to or on the score line, the score mark of this one. If it helps you, you can bend that, but that score mark should be pretty visible. So now I'm going to take this and lay it on my centerpiece. And again, I'm going to look at where I was to be right about centered. Top to bottom is exactly the same. So it should line up top to bottom perfectly even. They're both four, uh, four inches. It should line up perfectly even top to bottom. The only place you should have space is left to right. There you go. So you should see the inside of the front cover here. And there's your two score marks. Then there's the first pocket, the sections where the second one is attached and the pocket and the sections. You flip it over. There's the back and the back cover. So now just take your inside piece and go to the score mark down there and start folding. And I like to do it this way so I can line it up with my cover and make sure that I'm burnishing it exactly even with the cover because I don't like it sticking out either side. If that doesn't bother you, you can fold it way back when if you want. Doesn't matter. All right. So I will just fold each one of those and burnish them down. And you'll begin to see as you stack up this accordion how you need extra space it would be fun to do a mass make on some of these and here's another another thought that some of these um well not to get confusing but there are a couple that um, you could mix a couple different pieces of cardstock with and that that are um, coordinating cardstock and it would look pretty cool. So you could actually cut two at the same time and then take two pieces from one and one piece from another and put them together and make two of the same item at the same time and they're coordinated. 
but they don't all have to be the exact same. Okay, then I'm going to fold the cover and I'm going to fold it at both score marks. See how it gives it just a little uh, spine, almost looks like a little book right there. Just that space. And I'm going to go over to the other side. I'm going to fold that one. Now, I, I didn't get exactly centered in the middle there, not being over the top. Um, I'm a little to the left, but there's still uh, plenty of room. I made sure that it wasn't on top of my score marks. I didn't realize, I just didn't realize there was as much room as there was still on the right side. And that's okay because that's my outer of the outside covers. And so as I um, fill it up with things, um, I would still have plenty of room to um, put that cover over the top. So this one, I chose to round the corners. If you want to do that, you could do that now. I did that on the cover and I did it on uh, the end of the accordion piece. And then I used the branding strip to make a belly band. I left it like this so that you could see that it was a branding strip. As I embellish it, I would just put something right on that. Um, it's, you know, something that coordinates. Just put something right over that hole. Would be perfect. Won't even see it. In fact, that might be a perfect place for a little um, faux postage stamp or postage stamp cluster. There's a postage stamp stamped on there, so a little cluster would be perfect on that, and it would slide on and off. Doesn't have to have a belly band. Doesn't have to have anything. You could close it with a magnet. You could close it with Velcro. You could close it with ribbon or string. You could actually um, put some ribbon or string right here, glue it down, and then put something on the inside that covers that. And so when you uh, just do it on the the back. So when you close it, then you take that and wrap it around a couple of times and then tuck it inside itself. Maybe put a bead or a charm on the end that will give it a little weight to hang down there. So that's that. I will round the corners later in the interest of time. Okay, that was number five, right? Yep. Need to get moving. All right, let's do this one. Oh, look, I made this one too. This one, belly band. I forgot that one was sitting there. Oh, nope, that's totally different. Sorry. Yeah, you messed one. up somewhere on this one. <laughs> Uh-oh, who did? Why yeah, did mine you? went crooked. I had to trim mine. It went oh. crooked. You know, yeah, they go crooked. I just trim them up. It's really no big deal. Okay, where are my instructions for this one? Um, That's not that one. Which one is it? <laughs> this one. Alice said measuring this early in the morning hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you know, I know all of Australia isn't on the same time zone, are they? So I, I don't know if Julie and um, Diana are on the same time zone. Are you on the same time zone as Sydney, Diane? Because I know, I always know in my mind what time it is with Julie. <laughs> so on said, even spelling hurts. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's only come on, people. It's already 11 uh, o'clock. <laughs> uh, oh, Jubri is here. I didn't see her come in. Hi, Jubri. Hi, Judy. <laughs> oh, I didn't see That's her. why I, I was, started. I was busy. Meeting. I was busy trying to get those folds right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I started out easy so you'd have time to wake up. Diane says so it's, it's 6 a.m. there. She's not allowed to operate sharp tools and certainly shouldn't be measuring. <laughs> they have daylight savings time and you don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, here is this next one. This one is a black and white with a little bit of bling on it. I don't know if you can see that little sparkle there. And that's the inside. So I've got a, a side pocket, a side pocket. In the center, I've got a deep pocket. Flip it over. I've got a side pocket and a side pocket. Isn't that cute? How many things you could stuff in that? Okay, here's another version. Not another version. It's the same one. Side pocket, side pocket, deep pocket in the center. If I don't glue it together, side pocket and side pocket. Yeah, just make sure you don't glue your center pocket together. All right, so we need another piece of paper that we will use for this one. What do I want to use? What do I want to use? 
Judy says she's Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so you are three o'clock, three twenty. So Judy's the most awake of us all. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> Sylvia said, "Marianne, leave her alone. Don't don't make her tell time too." <laughs> Oh, Diana, don't tell me what time. I shouldn't ask Diana to look at the clock and tell me what time it is. Come on. Please. Diana said it was easier to tell my time than it was to work out what time it was down in Sydney. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. If you have to work it out, that tells me you're not on the same time zone. And that's all I asked was, are you on the same time zone? Uh, but if you're not on the same time zone, then I know I need to find your time zone too. And I'm going to do this one. This one looks fun. Doesn't that look fun? Looks a little dizzy fun. <laughs> oh, that gives me a headache. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, we are going to score this at... Um, that doesn't even matter. Okay, this is... I guess it's non-directional. I guess it depends if I want the stripes to go up or down. It doesn't really matter to me. So, all right. I'm going to score this one at one and a half. Everybody got their scoring tool ready at one and a half. Score at one and one and a half inches. And we're going to score it at six inches. One and a half, then six. One and a half inches, six inches, and then at ten and a half inches. One and a half, six, and ten and a half. And if you're still asleep, you may not have noticed that that's just an inch and a half from each end and straight down the middle. <laughs> so an inch and a half from each end and straight down the middle. So one and a half, six, and ten and a half. Now turn, quarter turn. Everybody quarter turn. I don't even care if you turn to the left or right if you're still half asleep. Okay, turn and score it at six, right down the middle. So turn the paper, score it at six. All right, everybody with us? Uh-oh. <laughs> Diane says she's Eastern plus one hour, I think. Who would have Eastern. thought watching a live would make me want wine? <laughs> Uh, okay, Eastern plus one hour would be 4 p.m. I don't think so, Diana. <laughs> Diane. Diane. <laughs> um, you're not four o'clock in the afternoon, are you, Di? I don't think so. Uh, didn't she just say it was six o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Okay. That's. <laughs> yeah, she's not on Eastern time. <laughs> Well, not our Eastern. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. she might mean, yeah, maybe she's just <laughs> in the time. Okay, now you're going to take the two, I don't know if you can see any of those, take the two that you scored one and a half inches, and you're going to fold those um, up at that one and a half inch score mark. Okay, if it matters to you, the side or the, yeah, the side that you are folding up is the same side that is going to be your outside cover. I would like this pattern on my outside cover, so I'm going to flip it and fold it the other direction. There we go. So whatever you're folding up is going to be the same as your outside cover. So I'm folding this end, then I'm folding this end. Okay. All right. Now is when you have to wake up and pay attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> 6.23 a.m. she said on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Uh, hang on a minute. One. So one she's an hour behind Sydney. Seven to six. She's only an hour behind Julie. Okay. Yeah, she's an hour behind just Julie. Figured just figured that out because Julie, that's 16 hours from me and Julie's 17 hours from me. I got you, Di. Okay. At least now I know. always know what time it is at you, your place. All right. Now you have to pay attention. So I've got on the left and right the two that I folded in, correct? 
I want you to go to the one on the right and I want you to cut only, you're going to cut on the six inch score, <coughs> only that one and a half inches. Don't cut past that one and a half inch or past the, the six inch score. So if I fold it at the six inch score, I know I don't want to go past that. I'm just going to cut down the center of that one and a half inch score, or that, I guess that's the center of the six inch score. Cut that one and a half inch strip. I can't cut straight, so I'll just straighten that out a bit. Okay, so that's all you're doing is cutting that one and a half inch strip right there. Okay. Now bring it back so it's on the right. And now we're going to the left. Turn it to the left, and we're going to cut this one as well, but we're going to cut this one all the way to the center. So before you cut, if you'll fold on that center score mark, see I can hardly see mine, so I really need to fold it so I know where I'm going to. This is where it hel is helpful to do a template on a solid color cardstock so that you can see real easily. Okay, so I folded it in the center. I know where my center mark is. This one up here is the one I only cut to the one and a half inch mark. Now I'm going to go on this one and I'm cutting along that six inch score all the way to the center, not past center. I don't cut very well that way. I'm going to use my trimmer. You are welcome to use your trimmer if you'd like or cut with scissors. Margie called Diana time traveler and she <laughs> said, I am your future. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and then uh, Diane, uh, you said that scares her. And then <laughs> Diane said, no chocolate delivered for two weeks. That scary enough to? <laughs> <laughs> That's really scary. Okay, so I'm gonna go along here to the center. And there's my center mark. My center is the six inch mark. Okay. There we go. All right, I got my cut there. I can't cut that straight at all, so I have to use a trimmer. Even though my poor trimmer needs a new blade today. So I'll just have to clean up some of its edges. But that's okay. I can deal with that. I should probably shouldn't. It just makes it look more uh, distressed, right? Margie's okay. hungry for chocolate now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, hungry for chocolate and a diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, when we were cleaning the fridge out yesterday, we found Katie left a stash of Snickers ice cream bars here. No, nice. <laughs> she, had, she had hidden in the freezer. So <laughs> nice. I had one of those just before we started. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> that's a good way to start. <laughs> okay, so you did you cut this the right one. I just want to make sure everybody's with us because everybody caught up. Um, one cut with an inch and a half on the right, and the left one we cut along the six inch score mark all the way to the center and stopped at the center, right? Oh, we got a bot. Right? Hold on. Where's my mouse? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want chocolate for wine and chocolate for breakfast? Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. I think me and Margie both got them at the same time. <laughs> at the same time? Hey, it, it got like this. Boxed yeah. in the ears. <laughs> it's bot boxing. It's bot boxing day. Always have the big tub of M&M's peanuts. Oh, my favorite, Sylvia. Yeah, Margie got one ear. Candy got the other. And the poor bot got boxed. And it's dead bug now. <laughs> Okay, Every, <laughs> everybody's here. Okay, Judy's got it. No, yeah, no, Margie got it. That was the bot. All right, I don't know if you're here or not because nobody's saying. So here's what we here's what here's where we go. Um, let me think here. <laughs> here's where we go. Where do we go? Okay, I am going to now. Let me just make sure that I'm remembering this right. Uh <laughs> only good bot is a dead bot. 
<laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that is true Ju says so she's here okay I guess that okay yeah, so everybody's here okay so it's sitting like this your one uh small cut on the right your large cut on the left okay we're going to pick it up and fold it backwards the only thing you have to fold is this one section over here because you cut the other one, right? So fold it backwards on that six inch score mark. So we cut half of it, we're folding the other one, and then we cut the little strip over here. So now those two ends that we folded up, we're gonna go over there and glue them down and only glue, only glue the two little edges so that you have the pocket right here, okay? Only glue the two short sides. Is that the best way to say that? Only glue the one and a half inch side. You should have two one and a half inch sides. <laughs> Uh-oh, left the pin off too long. Getting gooby. Okay. Fold that one down, glue, that one, glue. Then flip it over and do the same to the other one that is directly behind it. Okay. So you should have like this, where you've glued these two down and it's folded in half. Now we're going to lay it down with the opening on the bottom. <laughs> of course, Margie. <laughs> of course, they're not available all weekend when you have plenty of time and then you're busy and there, there they are. Okay, then we're going to lift this up and what we're going to do is glue this panel to this panel below it. However, you want to leave your opening for your pocket. So the pocket is going to be where your two flaps are glued down. So you only need to glue two sides. So if I stand that up, I know that I need to glue straight down and on the outside that's it leave the side open unglued that your flaps are folded down on and then i can bring that down match those two glue them together and you should have this pocket right here Okay, now flip it around to the other end, and we're going to glue these two pockets down. Again, just the two short sides. Leave the long side open to be your pocket. Flip it over, do the other one. Glue. I got crooked here somewhere. And glue. And when it gets all done, we can trim it up if we need to. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Have to glue again. And, you know, it, it always happens. I don't care how carefully we do it. It just always happens. I don't. You might be able to. Well, no. I was gonna say we already glued that down. Before you glue that down, you could take this and adjust it a little bit and burnish it again. But I already glued it down, so it won't work. Okay. So this is the side that I glued down together has the two pockets and I just glued the pockets down on the left. So I have two open flaps right here, right? These two, watch this, boom. See that? These two just fold one to the front, one to the back, burnish those down. You've already glued the pocket. You have pocket, pocket, big pocket. 
pocket, and pocket. And boom, there you are. It's pretty easy and it's really cool. And you look at it and there's a thousand things you can do with it. I, you know, that you can change or add or just, there's always ways to, to change these up. This is just giving you a basic template that you can then change to, to make however you want. Um, add stuff, subtract stuff, glue here, leave that open, you know, whatever you want to do. But these are great ephemera holders. If you like to put extra ephemera in a book, in a journal, uh, there's a lot of these that are good ephemera holders to go with journals. This one's Sylvia's favorite. Yay. I'm glad to know that, Sylvia. Sylvia's favorite so far. So far. So far. Because she might like one of the others better. Who knows? Okay, let's see what is left. Let's see what is left. All right. All right, Sylvia. Here we go. Here we go. A six, Here right? Go, Sylvia. Here we go. Is that six? Oh, shoot. We got 25 minutes. Let's haul. Yeah. Okay, hey, watch this six. one. Flip, 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 and flip. See that? All from one sheet. I'm going to show you this one after we do it. Okay, so here's how we do it. Take your 12 by 12. Pick a 12 by 12. We're going to score it at three inches and at eight inches. So what am I going to use? What am I going to use? Oh, this is easy. Let's just use that one on top. Score it at three inches and at eight inches. Oh, put the top, put the pin in your glue, Candy. Quit leaving the pin off of my glue. Okay, oh. I will. Not. I don't know how, how many times I have to ask you to do that. <laughs> I don't know. Three inches. Three inches. We're going to score that at three inches. Well, my hubby asked me to save money, but that doesn't work either. So <laughs> <laughs> I should know. You don't listen to him. Why would you listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> I saved money. I didn't buy a couple things I didn't want. I was gonna say I saved money. If you if I wasn't saving money, I'd have bought a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I scored it at three and eight. I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to score it at three and three eighths and three and a half. Don't let that freak you out. Again, notice that they're just the two tiny marks side by side. It's to give you that little bit of uh, spine as it folds so you've got room in there. I'm really disliking when I try to fold things and there's no room inside. Oh. This is just so much easier. I've started giving things this just this eighth of an inch. So three and three eighths and three and a half. And then go up to eight and a half, eight and a half, and eight and five eighths. Again, just the next tiny little notch. Eight and a half, and eight and five eighths. If you don't like those fractions, then I'll just say go to eight and a half, and then do the next, the next little notch next to it. Do that one too, so you get two score marks side by side. So you should have this now. With two, my, my YouTube is really so far behind. Yeah, minus two. I like, I like 11, 12 second delay. Yeah. Now it's frozen. Mine is, my YouTube is, but it's, wow, not focusing. No, mine's not frozen. It's not focusing great, but oh, it's not frozen. Yeah, it's not focusing at all. Wow. Very weird. Okay. Lucy so, says she stops buying because she has nowhere to put it. That doesn't stop me. I find places. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that stops me from buying is no money well tr if i really had no money it would probably stop me but we do have money it's just he likes to put so much in savings <laughs> yeah if money's there then she thinks that the you know, it's there to spend so why not <laughs> well i know that if i what i spend he can we can go to savings if we have to <laughs> yeah okay. hi edna hi edna the story is late Okay, so we just scored four score marks, right? Two together here, two yeah. together there. I'm going to turn it back 
either way, doesn't matter. Back to where on the top, I have the two score marks that are three and eight. Okay, let me make sure it doesn't matter. Uh, I did try to write notes on all these knowing that I wouldn't, you know, you go to do it with somebody else and you try to, to remember exactly. <laughs> and I knew I wouldn't remember exactly. So, okay. No. Okay. So I want to go, I want to leave it on the side with the four score marks to the top, the three and a half, the three and three and three eighths and three and a half. And over here, the oh, eight, okay. and five, eight and a half and eight and five eighths. Yeah. I want notes on the top. Okay. So now we're going to deal with the four corners. We're going to start at the top left corner, the top left corner. First thing we're going to do is cut a thumb notch on the left side of the top left corner like this. Left side of the top left corner, we're going to cut a thumb notch. And then we're going to cut the score mark on the bottom only from the outside of the paper to the first score mark it comes to, which is that three and three eighths mark. So we're gonna cut only this little strip right here. Hard to see. <laughs> this paper. Yeah, some papers it's really hard to see the score marks. Okay, so we're I'm only going to cut that one right there. Okay. All right, the top right corner, we're going to cut that one out completely. But make sure you only go to that first score mark. Wait a minute, or is that one the one we need to go to the second score mark? Blah, 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 blah. Let me look at my, yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to cut the top right corner out completely. Go to the second score mark uh, to cut it out because we don't need that score mark hanging out there. I should probably get a paper trimmer for this because I just don't cut straight. Even with score marks, I don't cut straight. <laughs> uh, paper trimmer, I tend to go over. <laughs> well, you know what? I did until I finally figured out how to use this one and stop it exactly. I finally figured that out. It only took me forever. Okay, so I'm going to cut this one out completely. And of course, I'm going to save it. Okay, there's a little piece off to the side. So now I've got the left one has the thumb notch and a cut. The right one is gone completely. Now we're going to move to the bottom right. <clears throat> oh man, we're running out of time. We're going to cut a thumb notch on the bottom, the bottom right. And we're going to cut um, the score mark like we did the top left, but this one we're cutting from the bottom on the first score mark from the bottom into where it meets the horizontal score mark that's as far as we're going to go yeah i just don't do those straight well at all <laughs> oh well that's okay uh okay and now all we have left is the bottom left corner the bottom left corner we are going to cut diagonally so take your scissors and start at the point and lock the point into your scissors and then just try to aim up. And if you're not exactly on, trust me, it doesn't matter because I'll show you where I wasn't exactly on and how it still worked. Let's see, where is my corner? I have to turn the angle so I can see the corner. 
Okay, and then just start cutting and cut to the corner diagonally. The corner of the first, whoops, see, I'm off. I'm totally off, but that's okay. It'll work. The corner of the first score mark. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm off, but it's going to work. So you should have this diagonal cut here. Yep, I got it. Perfect. All right, so let's go back up to the top left corner then. We're going to fold this one over. First score marker or second one? Um, one moment, please. <laughs> second, sorry. The second one. I did say stop cutting at the first one, and that should be at the second one. My bad. Okay. Cut it all the way to the second score mark. Fold it over at the second score mark. And actually, it gives you a little bit of more space at the bottom if you wanted to use both of those score marks on that little pocket there to fit more stuff in. Doesn't give you any gusset at the top, though. <laughs> I'm going to line it up with the edge up here. So even if my cut is not straight on the inside, at least my edge is straight for that pocket. And then you're going to glue down only the one side, only the cut side. And then you can see how you've got your thumb hole at the top. So where your pocket is. So glue only the left side. I'm going to put the glue on the shortest side, which is the, the flip part itself. Flip it over. I'm lining it up with the outside edge. Finish it down. Okay, there you go. There's your top pocket. Oh, got to do the outside edge too. <laughs> okay, I was I was like, okay, we're just oh, doing one. You're right. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking, don't do the top. Don't glue the top. Don't glue the top. But you have to do the outside edge, both the inside edge, the two side edges of your pocket. Just don't glue where you have your thumb notch. That's all. Just don't glue where you have your thumb notch. Okay, so you've glued both sides of that, and you've got a thumb notch on top. Okay? Right one is empty. We're going to come down to the bottom right one, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fold it up on the second score mark. So if you have to cut it, you know why? Because I wrote my notes. Oh, no, this is only one score mark, so this yes. wouldn't matter. Um, I wrote my notes, but when I um, made it with just one score mark each way, and then I just I just didn't like I went back and redid them with the two score marks to give that gusset in the fold, and I just like it so much better with that space. And and then I didn't add to my notes whether to cut it to the first or second score mark. That's why. That's her story, ladies, and she's sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Debbie and Candy would appreciate it because they don't like when it folds so tight. <laughs> that it just won't stay. <laughs> I don't either, actually. And the, but it was the thing we did on Patreon that really made me think about it. That, you know what? I'm going to start doing that on all the things that fold like that. Because it's not just that. It's a lot of things. Okay. So, there we go. And now, the left corner. Right? <laughs> so we are, we saw the two. Yeah. Left corner. We're going to take the bottom half of that diagonal. And again, we need to cut this one to the second score mark. So that's all the way to the corner. So mine's now not too far off just because. Mine is. I had a perfect. Oh, on the first. I'm sorry. Okay. So, so then just cut straight on the second I'm end. just messing with you. No, that's what I did before when it was off. I cut straight on the across the two score marks. And it works out perfectly. It gives you a little, we're going to fold that to the right. And you're making a corner tuck here. So burnish that down. Glue the bottom only. I'll show you. I'm pretty sure I have it here. The one I did where I was totally off. But it still works. Okay. Glue that one down. I figured this is the only way I could keep Glennis from making five times as many as we made. Five. <laughs> Give me instructions, and Glennis doesn't know what we're making. Yeah, <laughs> did it work, Glennis? She's like, "No, nah, I figured it out, and I've already made four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now this one, I'm coming over here, 
and I'm if I just kind of fold it, it just kind of flops up here. I'm going to line it up with the bottom because I want it to be straight across the bottom. And if and I'm going to make sure that the corner is down and then wherever it needs to be, I'll just burnish it down there. So because I want my pocket to not have a big old gap under the bottom of it. And then glue the bottom of that one down too. <clears throat> Ah, oh, that covers a pretty rose. Could have gone the other direction, I suppose. Doesn't really matter. Both yeah, sides. I should have the other way. <laughs> now we know. Okay. All right. So that is that one goes up. So we should have a pocket with the thumb notch on the top. You should have a pocket with the thumb notch on the right. You should have a diagonal pocket on the bottom, and you should have a diagonal pocket on the left. Correct? So now we fold the top one down, the bottom one up. And if you're like me, because you cut your right um, pocket here at the first, the first of these two scores, you have to go back and cut out the score line. I have to cut out that little score mark strip there because it will be in the way when this other one tries to fold in. Oh, I cannot cut straight. Okay, so top down, bottom up, and then the left in, and you'll want to fold it at both of those score marks. That gives you the space that you want in there to be able to fill it. And then the right one in. And the reason you want to do top and bottom first and then left and right is because it's your left and right that have the double score marks and give you the space. Duh. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, that was obvious, Marianne. Somebody's going to go, well, can I just fold in the left and right first and then the top and bottom? Well, yeah, but then it's no reason to do double score marks. You can do that. And if you want, just do a single score mark down there. But when I do that, then I've got just the tiniest bit of uh backbone there for that to fold which means that as i stuff this full of things there's going to be room for it to fold over and not just be sitting like this because it won't lay down again you could close it with a magnet you could close it with a um uh, a brad and a um a twisty thing you could close it with one of the punches you could punch something out of this left over here and put it on maybe on the opposite side a heart or a circle and then it just you know flip sticks into it you could just use the string you could put a, you could have put a piece of string underneath this pocket so when you do this you can tie wind it around you okay you better get to the next one you're gonna run out of time do a belly band okay now you kept this little piece i will show you this other one that i did this little piece i don't want to throw that away because you can take that and go back here and use it for something. I was messing around with this one. I'll do it different next time. But what I did is I cut off a corner of it and put a, a corner tuck up here. And then I cut a strip out of the center and I made a belly band right here. And then I took the other corner over here. So I just cut the two corners with a belly band down the center. I took the other corner and turned it over and put um, a a corner pocket, I hope I didn't glue it down, <laughs> put a corner pocket here. So I have a corner pocket on top of a corner pocket on the bottom one, okay? So you can use that. You could also leave it as is and use that to punch your um, closure, you know, that you wanna put on with a brad maybe. Okay, how many is that? Seven. <laughs> All right, well, we're looks like we're probably gonna make eight. Um, is everybody up for another eight or, no, eight or ten or however many we can get through next week? Okay, that's that one. Got to see which ones we have left here. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, that was seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I do have three left. All right. Okay, okay, okay. We can go fast. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh -huh. yeah. Mar Marianne, you can't go fast. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Diane has to get ready for work. She's making her, okay. she's thanks for making her brain explode. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for exploding with us, Diane. <laughs> oh, the only hers is a Franken paper pocket fold. Don't do it. Don't do it. She said mine's a Franken paper. <laughs> uh, okay. She says she's never followed someone so full of ideas and alive. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, Ju, I'm so glad you're here. We this whole yeah. group. Judy, Margie said, "Yeah, group, right." You going fast too. <laughs> this whole group is so full of ideas that yeah, it just blows your mind all the time. And um, okay, I'm picking another piece of paper. I'm finding another piece. Diane okay. throws her origami bird at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we didn't even get to origami birds yet. Wait, those are single sided. Why are they single sided? I wanted a double. I wanted something with a fairly light. Oh, that's light and dark. Okay, I'll use that, but you'll be able to see it. Okay, all right. Um, okay, super simple. We've got a piece here. We're going to cut it in half. 12 by 12. Cut 80 in half. So we're going to cut it in half. This one, we're actually going to get two of the same thing out of one 12 by 12 piece of paper. That's why we're cutting it in half. And then grab the scoreboard. So we cut it in half, and we're going to now score it at 3 inches, 6 inches, and 9 inches. You know why? Because we took 15 minutes at the beginning for me to go over all the hashtags. And about all your Brandon strips. The thousands. <laughs> yeah. The thousand subs and the sale. Now, yeah. now what, do you, what the score marks, 3 and 6, you said? 3, 6, and 9. Six All right. Um, I would be willing to go to 215 only because we took 15 minutes at the beginning to go over all that stuff. But we don't have to. But we might be able to get all 10 in if we do. And I can still give you another 10 next week. Do you guys want 10 more? All right. Three, six, and nine. Right? Everybody there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Now we need your now we need uh, either your scissors or your trimmer back. I have to use a trimmer because I just am not good with scissors. You may be better with scissors. Here's what we're gonna do. Each one of these sections, I'm gonna call. Um, well, okay. First section is on the right. Second section, third section, and fourth section is on the left. So okay. I'm now with, before we go any further, yeah. Which side is gonna be the front? Um, um, the side that's facing me, the first, okay. sec the first section on so. the right is the side that's going to, that's going to be on the front showing my back is, oh, my back is solid. So I, I yeah, I'll choose this. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to set it down and the first level I'm going to cut at three and a half inches only from the end to the score mark, only the first level, first section. Okay, so I'm going to put it down here. You can do it with your scissors, but I'm going to put it in at three and a half inches on my trimmer, three and a half inches, and I am going to cut only up to that score mark. Let's see if I got that perfectly. Okay, so three and a half inches right here, and now I'm going to cut that piece out. So I want to go ahead and cut that, that uh, section out right there. which was three inches, if you remember. You did that at three inches, so you could go cut, uh, put it in the trimmer and do it at three inches and pull out that piece. And if we need to later, we can go trim up edges and do all that, no big deal. Okay, now I'm looking at the second section, only the second section. I'm gonna cut the second section up to the score mark at four and a quarter. So four and one quarter right there. Line it up, four and a quarter. And where's my score mark that I'm going up to? I feel it. I need to go down here, four and a quarter. I can only do one thing at a time, apparently. Okay, four and a quarter. Should be right at six, it is. Okay, four and a quarter, and I'm going to the six mark, okay? And then I'm going to turn that around and cut that little piece out with your scissors or with your trimmer, it doesn't matter. 
I can even do this with my mini guillotine better than I can with scissors and hit it right on the dot. I'm just not a straight cutter with scissors. I am Marianne and I cannot cut paper straight. Um, okay, the third level, we're going to cut that section out at five inches. So I'm going to line that up at five. Go down here. My first section is at three. There we go. Turn that around and cut that little piece out. <clears throat> that should be at six. So you tell me, do we want to go to 215 and get the last two in, or do we want to stop and just do them next week? Your call. Uh, Candy, I'll put, you, I'll put you in charge of this one. <laughs> I don't care. If I'm up. I'm up. I can stay. <laughs> what does everybody want? He'll have me clean out the pantry if I get off too early. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can see that I uh, missed my score by just a hair. I'm going to go back and trim these up real quick. I, I just realized I should have shown you first what we were making. <laughs> Got in such a hurry. Kenny's like, hurry, get it in. <laughs> I thought I totally spaced out. No, I said you can't hurry. <laughs> totally. Ah. I can't hurry. I'm hurrying. I'm, yeah, this is me hurrying. Oh, is that KK or CK? That's CK. Aw. Or KK. I'm sorry. That's KK. I'm sorry. That's okay. KK. She Everybody wants in so she can get on the desk and sit on the keyboard. <laughs> okay. And then she'll be typing it. Z's and O's. Oh, I missed the singing. I'm going to go back and have to watch it. What were they singing? Don is like, go on. Come on. Go on. Let's go. Okay, guys. This is what we're I making, by the way. I don't see Don. This is what we're making. <laughs> and it opens to both sides. And you can decorate it or you can leave it as um, journaling space. That's one I already had done. But this is one I just did. So it's just the basic. Here it is square. What you just, this is what you just cut out. Or if you want to round the corners. Because remember you get two out of each page. Two out of each 12 by 12. Because they go like this to make the 12 by 12. You can round the corners or you can leave them square wow. if you're not sure what they look like. That's what they look like. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to fold the first level over and then fold it back and then fold it over again. And you don't have to exactly like what's on there because you can cover it with a piece of coffee dyed paper or th this other one I had put even um, like cards, um, cards over them to write on and decorate them. So you don't even see the paper underneath it on any of them. Must have been paper I didn't just didn't really care for. <laughs> I made that so long ago, I don't even remember. Um, I gotta try to get my score marks lined up here a bit. Did you find out what they were singing? I don't see that comment, singing? Um, somebody said we missed their singing. I want to know what you're all singing. <laughs> all right, Candy, do over. You have to sing again. <laughs> we I am still singing. Yeah, Candy and I didn't hear, so you have to sing again. <laughs> yeah. I, right, it, but I didn't see Dawn's comment until like it was like literally a minute later. It oh, popped her, in for me. On? Yeah. Wow. Don't rush. Don't rush. Yeah. I, oh, I mean, oh, you mean, Dawn, you mean go. I thought she was saying, hurry, go on, quit talking. But she's saying go on to 215. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will do that. I will be willing to do that. My doorbell just rang, and I know I have to sign for this package. So I'm going to run and do that. Candy, <laughs> entertain. I am not singing, people. You know, I don't care. I'm not singing. Are we doing the second one too? The same way? I hope. What was it? Three and a half. Three, 
four and a quarter and five. Yeah. Well, yeah, the folds are, the creases are at three, six, and nine, and then you cut, it's, the first cut is at three, and the next one's at four and a quarter. All right, got off on that one, and then five. Three, four, I am not singing. No, Jupe, not singing. You guys wouldn't stay until, uh, Till 2.15 if I sang. <laughs> you would take off. <laughs> okay. Probably should have said go ahead and do the second one because it's the same as the first one, huh? <laughs> I did. Oh, good. Yeah, the second remember. half, same. Yeah. Same. You score it three, six, and nine. Cut it at three and a half, four, and a quarter, and five. And you'll uh, have two of these. Cut my Three. I only cut it at three. That'll work too. Just gives you a shorter yeah. hunt. Yeah. And I mean, if you didn't like this and you wanted to have a, not that you didn't like it, but say you wanted to have a taller level at a certain one to do something specific on it. I think I messed up on the first one. I didn't cut it the right time. That's why I was measuring. <laughs> <laughs> I three cut it three. And a quarter and five. Okay. And then save all these. You can use these as embellishments or these make good ones to punch out circles to you for your um, coin pockets or closures, even closure on this one. All right, moving that one aside. Uh-oh, Margie's computer doing it again. She even restarted it this morning. Second verse, same as the first. Okay, so what did they sing? <laughs> now that was the cut. Breck the goose, the crafter drank wine. <laughs> I don't know that one, but that one sounds fun. Okay, number nine, number nine. Number nine, where's number nine? Mm -hmm, there it is. Okay, here's number nine. This one has a pocket here, a pocket here. It sure helps when the back is kind of different than the front, huh? <laughs> pocket here, pocket here. A flip up here with a pocket here. Space, you know that you could put a pocket or all kinds of things here or writing space and it's super thin can slip right into any journal or you can flip it upside down and now you have a flip down with a pocket here and the writing space here a pocket here and a pocket here so notice I did not cut the thumb. I cut a thumb notch on this one. I didn't cut a thumb notch on this one. Um, I can still do that, but um, didn't realize even that I didn't didn't do that. Okay, so that's this one. It's easy. Y'all can do it. You know it's easy. All right, so we need to pick a piece of paper. Or trying to remember the skipping song. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Skip to my loo. Uh, Skip to my loo, my darling. Is something that about hello operator. Um. Hello, operator. Oh boy, I he said hello, and I was thinking hello, Mata. Hello, Mata. Uh, Glenda sent a photo. <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. I got two more to get through, so I gotta hurry. Where's Glennis? Let's see. Oh, she sent it to you, not me. No, she sent it to the admin team. Did she? Oh, oh, Margie commented after, so it wasn't the last one on there. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this stuff, Glennis. <laughs> Glennis has done every single one of them. Ooh, I recognize a lot of that paper. Very cool. It's good to use for it, too. Look at this. She's, oh, the cute animals on that one. I like that. Yes, she is, Julie. Yes, she is. Okay. 
Let's get number nine so we can get ten. Uh, piece of paper. Come on, Mariana. Piece of paper. Piece of paper. Here we go. All right. I am going to score my piece of paper at six inches. Six. Score it at six inches. Right down the middle. Six. And then you're going to turn it a quarter turn and score it at six inches the other direction as well. Six and six. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me remember here. Why is that one not? Okay, so now we're going to score. Ah, uh, okay. Um, it doesn't matter. Well, let's see which side. If you wanted to choose your outside. Hmm. If you want to choose your outside, put your inside face up right now. Put what, whatever you want to be the outside, put it down, face down. <clears throat> and now we're going to go, um, we're going to put two score marks starting at the top, but we are only going to the halfway point. We're only going to the six inch score mark right down the middle. So make sure you can see it. In fact, I'm gonna fold mine a little because it's really hard to see. So I'm gonna fold it. Now I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to score at two inches. Now I have to hold it down because I scored it and wants to stand up. Score it at two inches just to that center score mark. And then go to the other side and score it at 10 inches only to the center score mark. Guys, are there any of these that you want to do on a mass make? Or do you want to just make them on your own? I mean, if we make them on our own, we're going to end up mass making them uh, on our own. We're showing your, we're showing the a comment. So. <laughs> Did you do that? I, I, do that? I must have. I must have. I must have bumped it. Oh yeah! If you if you uh, click on somebody's comment, it puts it up on the screen. <laughs> nope, I'm not even at the computer. I'm barely even looking at comments. So yeah, I can. I can <laughs> yeah, for one. My mouse. For one. Yeah, my mouth. Something must have fell on my mouse. <laughs> exactly. A cat walked on your mouse, probably. Okay, so we scored it. Not in here. I can't even blame the cat. <laughs> we scored it at two and ten. Two so ten. on the top we have a score mark at two, six, and ten. And then we've got our score mark across the middle because those two stop at that center one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna go left and right, and we're going to cut along the center score mark just to meet this one. So we did this on the last one. We cut on the side. But we're only going to cut it to that center score and stop right there. To That's that first score mark? Yep. There's only one score mark. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not like we did double, but yeah, um, to the first. So you're basically cutting two inches is all. And then on the other side, we're cutting two inches into the center there. Okay, so I have these two. And now... The um, cat's persistent. Yeah. Did you lock her out? Yeah, I got my door shut. <laughs> now we want to go to the top and cut out the score, or not cut out the score mark. Here's one where you could choose to cut out the score mark or just cut down the score mark. Remember we cut it out at the beginning? We folded it in half and literally cut the score mark out. Or you can just, I got to do it with my paper trimmer. I know I can't do this straight. Or you can just cut right down the center of that score mark. And we're only going to cut from the top center to the middle, to the middle point. 
So we scored it six inches going both directions. I am, look, I am in line. I am parallel to the score marks I made on this side. I just cut a flap on both sides. Now I'm going to cut right down the middle score mark and I'm going to stop at this center point. Okay, so bring that down to six inches and that's all. Okay, humans require supervision. How dare you keep the box out like that? I let her in, she went out in five minutes, she went back out. <laughs> okay, right. so we've, we've now cut our center like score mark know you out. will. <laughs> so we're going to fold the top down. And kind of try to, kind of sort of try to line it up to meet. And if I can get it lined up to meet, then I'll burnish it. If you didn't cut it in quite enough. And there she goes. <laughs> well, you know what? When you let her in, she doesn't really care. It's when you won't let her in, she has to be in. <laughs> oh, right. and what are we doing now? What, oh, what are we doing now? Okay. The, the half. The center. So just take yep. the top left quadrant and fold, fold that it down. down. Okay. Yep. Try to make it meet, kind of sort of meet there, and then burnish that down. I don't need your help. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi. Is that, that's KK, right? Yeah, that's KK. Hello, KK. She just put her tail on my mouth. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut a thumb notch on the top of this one that we just folded down. Okay, I need this. Okay. Sorry. And I'm going to fold that one because we've got a score mark there at two inches. I'm going to fold that one up. And I'm going to glue that one down. Okay, Kat, you're laying on my paper here. <laughs> hey, Kay, Kay, she's getting behind. Can you move up to me? <laughs> you can play later. <laughs> Silly cat. Really? Silly cat. Okay, so I'm going to glue that one down only on the two ends because I'm leaving the top open as a pocket. So now I have a pocket. I don't yet have a pocket here, but I have a pocket right here. I still have this as a flap. And now I'm just going to glue this flap down on two sides only to leave this open as a pocket. So I'm going to go to the top. That just seems easiest to me at this moment. Doesn't matter which one you want to glue. And when I'm gluing and I know I, there, I need to glue everything except one side, I tend to always put my thumb on that side. That's where I hold it because I don't glue over my thumb. And so wherever I'm holding with my thumb, I know that that's the side not to glue. Then if I get distracted or I'm talking or something, uh, I don't usually, usually make too many mistakes there, but now and then. Okay, so when I glue that down, I now have a pocket bottom and a pocket on top. Give it a second to attach. Oh, uh, Margie, did you get that box? Yeah, she got them. She got them. Thank em. you. Thank I got them in the premiere, but she got them on YouTube. <laughs> nice. Okay, everybody there? No. no. I'll catch this one later. <laughs> Now this one I left square. If if you want to round these, I would round this before you start any gluing at all. So okay. like this one, I rounded these. I rounded everything, and I would round them before you glue. But yeah, I can still round all these, but I can't round this. And it, maybe if you maybe you want to leave that straight and then just round these corners, that could be done. Okay. So now I'm going to go up to the top right flap here. Oh, come on, Candy. You can catch up to this one. I know. I got. I just didn't glue it. I, I won't glue okay, it until later. So you're not that far behind. 
go to the top right flap, cut up a thumb notch there and fold that one over on your score mark and burnish that one down. Now, what you want before you glue this one, make sure that okay. you have enough room in here to fold that down. If this is, is too close, just go to this little flappy piece and just trim a hair off. Mine is, just trim a hair to give you enough room to fold it down. That's all we gotta do. Okay, I'm gonna fold it down and burnish that before I glue anything to make sure that's straight because boy, that wasn't all that straight. Oops. But then does that surprise us? <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to glue this flap down only on the two ends. That's why I like to um, punch that thumbnail, thumb notch before, even if you can do it afterwards. If you punch it before, it reminds you that that's your opening, and it's much, you're much less likely to make mistakes and glue the wrong side down. I, I tend to be a very preventative person, not a very reactive person crisis kind of person so when there is a crisis it is a crisis and I'm very good in a crisis but I think that a lot of crises can be prevented and I tend to operate in that way not that this is a crisis but, but if I can prevent a little problem I'm going to prevent it and me having to grab the undo and undo all my gluing that's a problem I don't usually have time that I want to invest in that. Okay, I'll go back and, and recap here. So the top left corner, we folded that over with a thumb notch. No, I'm sorry, we did not. Fold that down. Okay. We folded that one down, and then we okay. folded it over with a thumb notch. So okay. we glued the top left corner down. We have a pocket now on the outside. Is everybody here? And we have a pocket right here. On the top. Hopefully yep. Okay. That then the yep. top right, we folded that one in to make the pocket with a thumb notch. And right. then we fold that one down. And what we right. want to make sure here is that our folio can fold in the center. Mine's a little tight. So I'm going to go, because I can't cut anything off of this one that I already glued down, which I probably should have before uh, gluing it down. I'm going to fold it with the the other one up try to get a good burnish there and then i'm just going to trim the right one to kind of fit that's awfully tight yeah i should have trimmed that one it would have uh, my paper's pretty thick it would have benefited me the thicker your paper is the more it benefits you to cut out the score mark rather than just cut down the score mark if it's thin paper it doesn't really make a difference but the thicker the paper is the more beneficial it is to cut out the score mark. Okay, so there's my, ooh, I wonder if I can trim a little bit of that off. Uh, so this one needs to come in enough that it will fold with it. Okay, maybe that was enough to cut off. Okay, and there we have it. What I'm gonna do here is, round this corner and round that corner. I like those rounded. Okay, so when I open it up, I have a flip up and a pocket. And on the left, I have a pocket on top of a pocket. And then there's plenty of room for writing space or for me to attach anything else that I want to put in here. I could attach something else on top of this right pocket that's flipped down because that whole thing is empty. When I close it up, I could attach something on the back because there's plenty of space there. It's a six by six. And the front is six by oh, six. Oh, yeah. to embellish. Is everybody there? Had to redo yeah. it and just toss it in the I'm making a number one. Where is it? Where is it? 
Um, releasing a creativity and using our scraps. Who I need a tutorial on last three. I peaked too early. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, you can watch it in replay for sure. All right, that was number, that was that nine? That yeah. Was nine? Okay. I made mine into an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So well, because it's thin, so I could this this yeah. piece of paper hanging out here. It just yeah. was too, so I just folded it over. You know. Okay. Here's another thing. That one folding out there. Another. You can just fold it back and then use and that as a pocket, pocket on the outside. Yeah. Right. The other thing with this one is, I thought I could take and put um, two or three or four of these together and actually make a journal out of it and yeah. put a cover on it. And so if I fold this yeah. back, I like that one. It's just another page with a pocket. There's, and same with possibilities this one. on that one. Yeah. And so okay. okay, and if you turn it upside down, this one flips Bye, Laura. instead of up. Bye Laura. So if you do multiples of them and put them together, have one flip up, one flip so down. You all enjoy your overflowing brains. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are on the last one, number 10. Number 10. Number 10. All right. Number 10, I got several to show you. Number 10 is a basic little um, upside down. Oh, this is right up Margie's alley. This is totally oh, dang Margie. It, Kat. This one is totally a Margie. I know she's made these. Watch that um, wicked This tail. is just the piece of paper, one 12 by 12 piece of paper here. I have not put a cover or anything on it. You don't have to. You can if you want. You can decorate this and let this be the cover. She ended up upside down, but um, this is a, um, I won't, it's kind of an accordion book, but this, but they're all glued together at the spine. So then it just becomes a book book. Um, but it's a book of pockets and it's kind, it's, um, it's cut like the meandering accordion book. Um, but if you made a couple of these and put them together, just glued front cover to back cover, It'd be like this, but you could have two or three. And look how cool that would be. You could actually store it or display it like that all open. But anyway, here's what it is. This is all one 12 by 12 piece of paper. You've got a pocket up top. You've got a pocket on the side. You've got a pocket on the top, a pocket on the side, a pocket on the top, a pocket on the side, a pocket on the top. And look at all those little pages you have to decorate or put more well, little fit in there. and pockets and more tags and stuff and stuff yeah okay so here's one i did with this piece of paper and i had paper left i just cut a tiny strip actually this was a was a, a branding strip and made a belly band with that it goes this way and i had extra paper so i just made a little cover with that and i glued it at a meander book cover. yep the little meandering book this is um this was the piece of paper I used, and I took this leftover and just made a cover. And all I did was glue the spine of it onto it. And so there it is. And I, I had a piece of this out in a circle, so I used that to make a little tab there, like a mark. There's just so many things you can do with these. They're just super cute. Super cute. Wrap that up. You could put all kinds of cool stuff around that and make it very steampunky. Okay, here's another one where... The piece of paper was black and white. And after I made it, I just took two pieces of chipboard, covered them in black paper and made a hard cover and took that foil pen, did the corners. That's all I did. So here's the same book bound or not even bound. Uh, and I didn't even glue. They're glued together, the, the book itself, but the cover isn't. So the, that's why it was super easy because you just glue the front to a cover and glue the back to a cover. And there's your book of pockets, your meandering book of pockets inside. Okay, so let me show you how to make this one. You're gonna love it. It's easy, you're gonna love it. Okay, this one, if you have a piece of paper that has, it's only single-sided that you really like, that you'd like to use, single-sided works very well on this. And, uh, because the white side will never show, right, Margie? The right side never ever shows. I'm looking. I thought I had some single sided in here that would be. I do. There's one. Well, that's kind of a weird one. But then if I end up decorating it, it won't show anyway. All right. 
Oh, all this paper in my way. I'm doing a quick Twix, a Twix scan, a quick scan for other single sided in there. For, oh, you know what? I really like this. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Or if it has a solid color on the back and you didn't know what to do with that, you can use that. Or if it has a backside that you don't like, this is the perfect thing to use it for because the backside doesn't show ever at all. All right, I'll just use that one. I don't have to really like it. It should be cardstock or scrap. Doesn't matter. We'll work with either. This black and white one was paper. Um, this one was cardstock. This one is light cardstock. Yeah, this is a light cardstock. Oh, yeah, it'll work with any. First, I got to cut my branding strip off. Okay. If you already had them done. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly what I thought. Candies are already done. <laughs> it literally took me most of one day to do them all. <laughs> oh, I believe it. Well, because I, I, tore, I tore them all out of the books, too. The pads. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it, was a, it was a two... I know I'm going to end up decorating this one because so that was one day and then the cutting was another day. Um, no, no, it was all one day. Some of them tear off and some of them don't have the score marks. The, the yeah, exactly. So that I was starting and yeah. I was like, oh, just do them all. I just got them all done. So I could, because they wouldn't fit in the area I had with the branding strip on them. Okay. So we are going to score this at three, six, and nine. Okay, so should I have the pattern outside pattern up or the inside pattern up? If you the if the pattern that you want to see have up. Okay. Um, the back, my back is white. Okay. And I, I just want to show you that you can use a single sided piece of paper All on right. this one, and you don't three, know three six and nine, right? Three six and nine. All right, so here we go. Three. I'm not sure. No, I just it took me all day to do it. Yeah. <laughs> But you know what? And I it didn't... wasn't planned. I had oh. I had put some paper away and I had the thing all set up You're and like, I pulled out the other one I was putting it and they wouldn't fit. And I was like, what in the world? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, these ones didn't have branding strips on them and these ones all do. So I just went through and did them all. Wow. You know what? The, uh, it's cool though. Now you don't, you don't ever have to cut them off again. It Only is kind on, of cool. new on the new pads I get, I tear them up. It's <laughs> kind of a cool idea. Okay. Three, six, and nine. Quarter turn. Doesn't matter which direction you go. And three, six, and nine again. You're making 12 squares if you can't figure that out by now. Three. Those squares are your pages. Six. This one's older than dirt, isn't it, Margie? But I hadn't done it in years. I hadn't even thought about it in years until I want to say it was Tina that posted a picture in the group because, um, oh goodness, I just lost her first name. Gigi's mom, Crabtree is her last name. I just lost her first name. Um, she had sent her in there, I think it was in the Christmas exchange, um, one of these and uh, Tina had posted a picture of it in the group and I went, oh my goodness, I haven't seen that or even thought about making those in years. So that's when it came back and I started making them again and they're just so fun. I've and never made one. Really? Oh, cool. Then it's something new for somebody. Three, six, and nine. Three, six, and nine. Did I say 12? It is 16 squares. She did. She did. I was letting go. I didn't want to. I was like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Maybe my math is off. Margie's got me. I need Margie's a, I need a couple of people. 16 squares. People. 16 squares. <laughs> Three, six, and nine. You get four squares each direction. Four, and four was still 16. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I needed a drink after that one. Just yeah. diet, Dr. Pepper. But, okay. Um, I am going to... I saved this one for last because this is the only one where people tend to get confused. And I think 
I really honestly believe that it's because it's shown really fast and people think it's confusing and they get overwhelmed and then brain shuts down. And it's really not, it's really not. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna draw on mine with pen just because I can't find a pencil that has a sharp enough point. Maybe that one does. All right, so. Ink it, just ink it. You have 16 squares. Uh -huh. uh, I, I, I'm gonna draw in the center, so ink. Oh. Is that what you're? <laughs> I'll ink it oh. after I cut it. You have 16 squares. I'm going to draw where we're going to cut. And we're cutting along score marks. So just know that everything you're cutting, oh, don't do it right on top of the metal. See that pencil, not very sharp. Um, everything we're cutting is on score marks. Oh, that's why it's up on the edge of my trimmer. Okay. And then we are going, where's the... Here. Okay. And I'll show you how to put it in your brain to make it make sense. Because if you if from the beginning it's not confusing to you, it's no big deal. It really isn't. Okay, here we go. They're blurry too. Okay, I'll give it a second to. I don't know why, but I'm I'm moving quickly. That's probably why. But I give know, it a second. Streamyard is usually not so blurry, but Streamyard I don't see blur at all. But I do on YouTube. All right, can you focus? Know. Let me see if this helps at all. I don't know. Let me come a little closer. Oh, that didn't help at all. How about that? Okay, man, that is really blurry. Yeah, okay, I see it now. I see the lines well, on, on the stream it. yard, but wow. uh, I don't we'll see it on Okay, it's, I got to get it on YouTube for everybody to see. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that there there's, four, there's four squares across, and there's four squares down. We are going to cut, and you can do this either with your trimmer or with your scissors. It makes no difference. I will use the trimmer because I can't cut straight. Y'all know that by now. And I'm going to start, this is the outside. My back is white. The white is not going to show. Okay. I am going to start with the bottom left. And I'm going to cut one, two, three squares. I'm going to cut straight up the score mark three squares and stop at the last square so I don't cut it off the paper. Okay, so let's do that first. So the first score mark that is vertical, I'm going to cut from the bottom up to one, two, three to the third score mark, and then we'll stop there. Let's see, that is at three inches, so I should be able to put that right there. And hopefully cut right on my pencil mark. This may or may not be straight. <laughs> All right. And this is what you should have. Now, the second cut, we are just moving to the right and we're going to the next vertical score mark. This time we're going to start at the top and we're going to cut down one, two, three score marks and we're going to stop where the bottom horizontal score mark, mark meets our vertical score mark. Again, we don't wanna separate it from the paper so we're leaving that last square intact. So this is at six inches. If you're putting it on a paper trimmer at six inches, I need my cutter to be at that end. 
at six inches and I'm going to cut down to one, two, three of my sections and then stop. So this is what I should have. I'm watching YouTube. It's doing pretty well staying clear. It freezes a lot. Okay, now the last one, we're going to again start at the bottom and we're going to cut up from the bottom one, two, three score marks. Again, leaving the last one in place so it stays intact. So I'll bring this one. Line that up. And I'm going to cut one, two, three score marks and leave that in there. So when you get the last one cut, you should have an M. <laughs> Go, Marianne. Go, Marianne. <laughs> oh, you froze. <laughs> Sylvia. <laughs> it is so easy. It looks so hard. And that's why I did it this way, writing it out. And in the end, you've cut an M. Up one side, down the middle, up the other side, but never, always leaving the paper intact so you're not cutting through it. Isn't that a whole lot easier than, you know, <laughs> a whole lot easier than the complication that it seems? Okay, now, are we ready? Oh, I'm ready. Brain shut down. Okay. So now we're going to, we don't need our, we don't need our trimmer anymore. We can move that out of the way. Now we start folding and we want to start folding on the left corner, right where we started cutting. Okay. And it's so that next time you go to do this and you're thinking, well, which way do I fold? Here's how you look at it. If this is my first fold, this is going to be the front of the book at the front of the book. This is not a great example because it's got pattern on both sides. But on the front of the book, this one would have been a better one because this was white on the back. The back, the back of the, the first one that I see there is going to be um, glued to whatever is my cover. Whether it's a piece of paper, whether it's a hard cover, doesn't matter. I left this one open so that you could see there's polka dots and the back is solid. It's not white, but it's solid. So if I round those corners and I were to glue it down, okay, that is this first page or this first corner right here. So I'm going to fold that over because I want the white to be exposed. So that'll be what is glued down. And if you fold that like that, everything else works out perfectly. You cannot mess it up. That's the beauty of this, that you can't mess it up. If you cut it in an M and you fold the first fold like that, you can't mess it up. So we're gonna fold forward and then backward. And I try to kind of sort of line them up as I go. Um, so if there's one that's wonky, I can adjust it and burnish it as I go. But I always end with something off and have to trim it up and it's no big deal. Okay. Now remember, you're always folding forward and backward and forward and backward. So I folded forward here. So I'm going to go backwards to come over to the next row. I'll try to keep burnishing so it doesn't get too thick and hard to do. And then forward. And then backward. Thankfully, the folds are all split you know, half and half on both sides. So one side doesn't get super huge. Forward, and now I'm to the bottom. So I'm going to fold backward to get to the next row. And then forward. <clears throat> And then backward. Oh, 
I know this is one of Margie's favorites. Forward and then backward. It's crazy to think you can get an entire book out of one piece of paper, huh? And it is a pretty darn thick book. There's a lot of stuff there. And then the very last one is forward. So holding it like that, you've got a front to be glued to something. You've got a back to be glued to something. And your book is perfect in between. Look at that. None of the white will show. All the pages are the print of the paper. I know this paper doesn't look very, um, it's pretty light, so it's hard to see on, on the screen up there, my, on mine anyway. Okay, so now you don't have to worry about gluing the spine together. It will come together on its own. Here's how we do it. We just start with page one. This one stays open because it attaches to something for the cover. This next one, this is our first pocket. So it opens like this, which means I could have the pocket on the top, or on the bottom. I personally don't like bottom pockets because things fall out. I don't want to worry about having to keep my hand there so they don't. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the side and the bottom of this one and it's automatically going to be a top pocket. All of mine will be top pocket because I don't like bottom pockets. I like um, tucks like that on a page but not pockets because it's just too hard to keep everything in. Okay, so I glued that down and then flip it over. What's the next one? The next one looks like this, which means this one can either be a top pocket or a side pocket. So you just have to look at that and say, which do you want? Do you want another top pocket? Maybe you want a whole book of all top pockets. You can do that. Um, half of them ha have to be top or bottom. So your choice. Half of them have to be top or side. So you could literally have a whole book of all top pockets and have tags sticking out of every single one of them. You could have half of them top pockets and half of them bottom pockets if you prefer. You could have every other one be a top pocket and then a side pocket. I think that's what I'll do. I have a top pocket there, so I'm gonna do a side pocket over here, which means I'm going to glue that side and the top and leave this side open. Okay, so I put my finger there. So I'm going left side and top. And I'll come back and trim up any little things later that aren't fitting perfectly or that, you know, got a hair bigger than the one next to it because my cutting was wonky. Okay, I'll turn the page and here we are again with either a top or a bottom pocket. I'm going to choose top. You choose whichever is best for you. So I'm gluing two sides. Uh, actually, I'm going a side and a bottom, but yeah, two sides of the square. <clears throat> Press those down. You see that you could whip out a little book like this in literally less than 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes you could have it is all it took me to make this at midnight one day. Because it only takes a couple minutes to whip up this if you're not, you know, explaining it to somebody along the way. And then I just grabbed a couple pieces of chipboard, cut them, covered them with black paper, and the embellishment was easy. So you literally can put a book together like this in um, 15, 20 minutes and totally decorate it. And if you have a bunch of little tags already ready to go because they're from your mass makes, we're getting to tags. You could just grab them and stick them in there. That's the purpose of the mass makes. Okay, I've got another side pocket here. This one has to be either a bottom pocket or a side pocket. So for me, that will be a side. You choose. I think bottom pockets are cool. I just have problems keeping stuff in them. And, you know, just because I'm not coordinated doesn't mean everybody else isn't. Here's another top or bottom. So I'm going to go top. <clears throat> Fold that one over. What have we got here? A top or a side. OK. 
Okay. Next page is a top or a bottom. We are almost done. This is my last one. My last uh, page, I think. Top or a bottom. Okay. And there's my last one. So, oops, I guess I need to uh, hold it down long enough that the glue can adhere. <laughs> Yeah, mine. I was like, uh-oh, let go too soon. Give it a chance. <laughs> okay, now notice that you didn't have to do anything with your spine. And don't worry that the spine is not perfectly, you know, each one of those folds perfectly in line. Mine isn't. Some are farther out, some are not. It, it just really doesn't even matter. <clears throat> but notice that you don't have to glue them all together because on every one of them, you had to glue the inside wall. Because you can't have, I mean, you could, but you, you really can't. You'd be going through the spine. You can't have an inside opening on this type of one. Otherwise, you'd be going through the inside spine. So by gluing the inside wall of each one of them, you created your own spine. So now you flip through. So now let me go back to the beginning. And I'm going to grab my, <clears throat> um, let's see, I think I want, I want just a one inch, maybe. Let me see what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a circle. I'm going to punch some thumb notches. Maybe I want the one and a half. <clears throat> yeah, I'll make these a little rounder. Sometimes make them round going deep and sometimes make them shallow, but more, I guess that's more oval. Okay, so I'm going to go back and just pay attention as to whether it's a top, side, or bottom. This one is a top, and I'm going to just give them some thumb notches. I do this after again, like I said before, um, so that I can do both sides of the pocket together. Next one is a side. So I will notch the side. This is pretty thick card stuff. Next one is a top. So yeah, what I'd like to know, um, are is anybody interested in doing a mass make on any of these things? Um, are you interested in a day where we just sit down and embellish some of these things, you know, make a couple things at a time? Um, need some ideas, want some ideas we can share with each other how to decorate and embellish them? Yeah, I like that. I do too, because you guys have great ideas. I might have a couple, but you guys got a ton between you. You always have good ideas, Candy, for decorating. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I just I like slap it on there. Oh, maybe that's why oh, I like it. <laughs> Doug's in there. Hey, honey. How are you? Got done with an appointment early. Yay. And Cyber Girls come in. Oh, hey, Julie. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, we ran a little bit over time, but, you know, if you wanted to just make this as a circle, you could glue these last two together and turn them into a pocket. And there you have a full circle. If he I said, was you, need to scroll, you need to scroll up, Marianne. He left oh, a message for you. Know. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh. Yes, Don, this is going to be a fun one to do with Sammy. Happy anniversary, sweetie. 21 years ago, Mary and I met on a lunch on a blind date that changed the rest of our lives. It is true. It is true. It Yeah. Anniversary of the first day we met at Ruby Tuesday. In Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> at Metro Center, Don. <laughs> Ruby Tuesday at Metro Center. We met on a blind date. Set up by voicemail because we were both so busy we couldn't even connect by phone. So, <laughs> yep. Second date was a week later, later and we were never apart a day after that. Aw. Thank you, honey. And you know what? We have gone to Ruby Tuesday on this date for our anniversary every single year since then. Even if we were out of town, we found a Ruby Tuesday, and now, then we moved to Utah. The Ruby Tuesdays are no longer here. I was going to say, they've closed them here. Yeah, they closed them all here. We don't even have a Ruby Tuesday. We're so bummed. Yeah. They closed both of them here. They had one here in, here in town that had one over the next one, Shreveport. Oh, They're both so closed. bummed. So, honey, yeah. I propose that we find a new anniversary, meet anniversary, um, restaurant that we can meet at for every year for the rest of our lives on this date 
So this is then what I put this cover on, or you could take several of them and put them together. Okay, so look at this. You could make just a really thick one, just a whole little book of, of uh, tags or make a pocket between those two. You can put as many of these together as you want. Now I gotta go back down here because I'm... I know, I, was, I had to go back up. <laughs> yeah, my, my anniversary is this weekend. <laughs> Uh, we've been, your we've been married. Your birthday and your anniversary. Yeah, That's my awesome. birthday is my birthday is the ninth. My granddad's mm -hmm. birthday was used to be the twelfth. We celebrated together, and wow. then my anniversary was on the fourteenth. Oh wow! Well, y'all, mistake, been... ladies, mistake, ladies. Birthday and anniversary gift gets put together. Yeah. Mistake. <laughs> uh, well, if if, it, if the birthday and anniversary gift is like twice as much, then it's really you know nah, you just we don't go together. <laughs> Yeah, Candy's getting a big old shopping spree this week. I'm very excited for her. Yeah, me too. Very excited for her because I know what kind he of. He hasn't told me the total for. yet, though, so I'm going to be bummed if I get there and he goes, it's only 50 bucks, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you just pretend not to hear, Candy. I know yeah. who you are. You know, I know how you are. I didn't hear you. I just gathered up. You said the shopping spree, so I just picked up what I wanted. <laughs> oh i think he knows what you're gonna get <laughs> it's gonna be yeah he does know. he does he does well uh, we um we uh we, we're hitting the uh the clearance sections the you know which is amazing yeah you can get a whole lot more and it's a good time still in the first quarter so still good clearance stuff Every place has McDonald's. <laughs> hey, Doug, should McDonald's be our new, <laughs> new place? <laughs> mm. If we're going to make it a burger place, can it just be a habit burger? But not every place has habit burgers. <laughs> hmm. We'll have to think about that because, yeah, we need a new something that even if we were traveling might be might be everywhere that we could find the restaurant. Sorry, honey. Maybe, maybe you have a candle at dinner at home. That way you don't have to worry about it. Oh, candy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the food catered in. Oh, that's You just true. have it at the house. He's like, sorry, honey. <laughs> no, no McDonald's. Maybe a Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you because know, now, um, now we don't have, it's hard for us to get DoorDash here. They charge extra to come out here. Yeah. But. You might be. I mean, you can get them delivered. You can get whatever you want. That's and have true. It the house, and then, if it's going to be Denny's, then I propose Penny Ann's. <laughs> <laughs> um, we can't do Subway because when I was going through chemo, um, I took Subway. It was an eight-hour ordeal every time I went through chemo, and I would take a Subway with me. And uh, let me just say, if there's something you want to never be able to eat again, take it with you when you do chemo. And that's when you want to eat it because every time I get near a subway or think about a subway, my brain smells chemicals. Oh yeah. It really does. And it's, it's terrible. I love subway. I loved subway probably still do, but you know, it's really hard. I like to firehouse it. firehouse subs here. They have oh, a, fire, the, yeah, that's good, the meat, firehouse. the meatball sub. Oh my God. Oh wow. Wow. We have a, uh, uh, Capriotti's. Are they everywhere or is that just a here? I don't know. I don't have it here, but we have, um, we have a lot of stuff here. Capriotti's has the best meatball subs I've ever had. Better than Firehouse. <laughs> Maybe we'll go to Capriotti's when you come here. They have got a killer Philly cheesesteak and um, oh, meatball subs. I love cheesesteak, Philly cheesesteaks. They don't uh, have a good one here. I, I don't know. Did we say we would do pack? That well, perfect. Pack at Penny Ann's Cafe. That um, that that's going to be a that has to be a breakfast place when you come here. <laughs> for sure. They're only open for breakfast and lunch and they close at two or two thirty. And so yeah, definitely taking you there when you come here. They have one here that does that. It's the break what do they call it? The broken egg. Oh but yeah. it's packed. Yeah. It's packed. I can't go yeah. in. Uh, we haven't uh, we went to one in Shreveport uh -huh. last year or two years. It must have probably been about two, three years now. Uh -huh. But they opened one up here in town, but psh, it's, it's so oh, packed you can't get in there. Yeah. yeah. I'm Except, like, I'm not waiting for breakfast. I'm not. Uh, Penny Ann's <laughs> is too. You can pull up there and there are just dozens and dozens of people out waiting for an hour or two to get in. Yeah. No. Nope. You know, it helps if you know the owner. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll get in. <laughs> Margie says she'd take broccoli. She hates broccoli. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You know, I can't tell you how many times I thought, why didn't I just take chocolate with me? 
I know something that you, you know that you yeah. don't want to eat no more. Why because shouldn't you, I take chocolate cake or brownies or just chocolate? Oh cake no, and just no, ruin can't that take brownies. For life. Can't take brownies. I can't ruin yeah, brownies for life. If it brew, if it ruined, if it ruined brownies for life for me, then maybe I wouldn't want to eat them because they like me. They stick with me. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have made a ton of things, people. We made 10 different things with one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, which means that you have used at this point uh, 10 pieces of paper. But if you take each one of these things and you mass make only 10, 10 of each of them to have in your stash ready to go, that's 100 things ready to go. That's 100 pieces of paper, 12 by 12, that you have used up. Because Debbie's over there going, Use more paper so I can buy more paper. Right, Debbie? I know she's listening. She's super busy, but I know she's listening. If we use more paper so we can buy more paper, because we're all dying about that new Stamperia that's coming in this week. Uh, here, this is a fantastic way to use up a whole bunch. And we didn't even do the embellishment or, you know, decorating or things like that. If we took some other sheets and used it to decorate and embellish. We could even use up a few more pieces. So I'm trying to just kind of sort of put out here some of the th uh, things that we did, but boy, we did a lot. We did a lot. And there's a lot that you can do with these things that we did. So look at that. All with one sheet of paper each. I've been bumping my camera, I can see. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, blue iguana in Salt Lake City. You love that place? Huh. There's, isn't there a blue iguana in Arizona? I thought there was. Or is that? No. Yeah. It's, I thought there was, Don. A blue iguana in Arizona. Maybe there is, but maybe that's why you're saying there's one in Salt Lake, too. You should try that. <laughs> Broken Yoke was fantastic. Uh, Don, if you haven't been to Broken Yoke in Mesa, you got to go try the Broken Yoke. It is on... Um, Gilbert, Gilbert Road. It's on Gilbert Road. What is it, honey? Gil oh, shoot. Wow, I'm seeing it and I'm losing the names of my streets. Uh-oh, been gone too long. I'm starting to lose the names of the streets. It's on the northeast corner of Gilbert and by Target. In the Target parking lot, right on the corner. Can't remember. Go try it. Maine. Maine. Doug said Maine. Uh, Maine? Okay, Gilbert and Maine. Yeah. Marjorie it said we fun. would buy more paper no matter what. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Uh, yeah, go try the broken yolk. It is amazing. Amazing good food. Um, just looking back on chat to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, Margie's Linda dessert. Fong, Linda. Yay! <laughs> yay. Uh, yeah, Linda's awesome. Thanks, Margie. Thanks for hanging out with us. So, um, I didn't know, I don't know if anybody ever responded or did you see anything, Candy? Do you want to do mass makes on any of these? Um, Margie said all of them. <laughs> all of them? Okay. I mean, things like this, I would probably do a mass make on this one and this one and this one all together. And we yeah. can make 20 of each one because, you know, they're super, super simple. And then some of the others, I'd probably take two of them at a time and we do an hour of one, an hour of the other so that you could get at least 10 of each one. Um, that would be good. And then I'm not even opposed to to um, doing a, a laugh and craft where we're decorating some of them and, and embellishing them. Yeah. Get some on Saturday night. Yeah. It, yeah. I think that that's a good idea. We can share ideas with each other and yeah. see them. So, okay. Uh, don't forget to take the ones you've made. I know a bunch of you have made a whole bunch of them. Uh, put the pictures in the group with hashtag Monday Jumpstart One Sheet Wonder. If you haven't yet listed your coin envelopes in the group with your pictures, hashtag mass make coin envelopes. As soon as we log out of here, just as soon as we log out, two seconds, you can turn around and come back, comment on the video or on any other video, hashtag 1000 subs along with your comment to get you in the drawing. The box is filling up. I have a flat rate box and I'm just filling it up with stuff. And I'm only putting like one of each kind of thing in so that I can get a ton of different 
stuff in. It's going to be a bunch of cool stuff. And then the sale, just put on your calendar for Friday and Saturday, March 25th and 26th. And uh, let's see, Gilbert and Southern. Yes, it's Gilbert and Southern, not Maine. It's farther down. Target is on Southern. She's right. She's right. Oh, apparently his memory's fading too. <laughs> I'll have to see which number they were. Oh, Glennis. If, right yeah. For the favorites, yeah. Okay. Two that you really liked. Please let me know which they were. Um, now that I don't have the order, we did them in anyway. <laughs> but I could go back and look at the video. Um, or just shoot me a picture of the two that you really liked. Then I'll know which uh, which were the two. Okay, last question. Do we want to do another 10 things that you can make with one sheet, one 12 by 12, next Monday? If I can come up with 10 more, <laughs> I know I've got at least... At least probably, eight. You okay. can get to eight, no eight, problem. Eight, on, yeah. in two hours. Eight, in, eight in two hours. <laughs> yeah, that's good without going over time. Um, yeah, how, whatever we can get to. Uh, do do we want to do that? What do you think, Candy? Yeah, I don't mind. I love using the 12 by 12 to get rid of okay, some of it. I, do I, have this, I have this paper here that I won't use it for a lot of stuff, but if you use it like this and then decorate, you can hide a lot of it. Exactly. That's And you, may, so. you can even put paint on it. You know, you can put other paper on it to de decorate it. I agree. I have stuff that I yeah. won't use for anything else. So it can be yeah. a good base for this. So and okay. if nothing else, it'll be my template and then I'll make it a nice paper. Oh, there you go. That works too. You need to keep one template of everything. Um, guys, are you putting one of everything you make into your idea book? If it's not, not all, of them. Not, not all the time, but when I really, really like something, I do. Uh huh. You should, even if it's not something you really, really like, but it's just a basic, put one in there because when this you're making something and you <laughs> that, and as soon as it gets totally full, then you need to make another book. <laughs> You just this make is the another second book, one. Andy, this is the second one. <laughs> Danielle has what? Four or five idea books? <laughs> like, I don't need. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I haven't. I, if I do that, I'll probably be on three or four, but because I've been putting them in a thing and I haven't gotten them into the book yet, but they're all on a thing together. I think about just doing a box next time and just putting them in a box. Hmm, that's an idea. That, unless it's something that needs to be put on glued on a page to show how it works. I don't I know. Can glue it on a fake page. That's true. See, you can do that. You could put it in a box. But, you know, you need to fill a page in a book and you just want some simple idea because you've got a lot of fancy things in there. You can flip through and find something very simple that maybe you just didn't think about for, you know, yeah, a while. I know. Yeah, I flipped through every uh, once in a while. I flipped through <laughs> the other night when I was bored. It's also kind of nice to flip through and see all the different things that you've made and, you know. You are pretty creative. So don't forget, guys. Yeah, there's 10 things to add today to your idea book. <laughs> 10 <laughs> things. Holy cow. Um, otherwise, you'd probably have one every Monday. Almost. Not quite, because we don't always make something. We use, Sometimes we do a technique. And one every Thursday. And sometimes one on Saturday. So we're not all made. <laughs> yeah, some of, them, some of them had to skip it. <laughs> You will. You will by the time you finish the, the replay. All right. Wait, let's check out what Glennis made before we run. Um, you will have made 10 by the time you finish yeah. so that you can. I got all 10 made. Put one in there. <laughs> let's see. Those are the two she really liked. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the, the flip out one with the accordion fold. That was cool. Okay. Um, this one with the accordion that flips out. Okay. That's a good one. And the and other that one. Flip up, flip down. The flip up, flip down one. This one. Oh, the other one is this one. Right? Nope, not that one. No. Up, flip this down. One. One. This one. The flip up, flip down, yeah. fold in, fold out. Okay. I think so. That's what it looks like to me, but um, yeah. I, yeah, I so know. that's the only one that had a diagonal. It's upside yeah. down. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's got a diagonal on it. And that's the only one that I did that had a diagonal today. Yeah, I like so. that one too. Okay. Cool. Awesome. I like those too. I like those a lot. All right. This has been, it has been wonderful. Um, it's been, uh, it's been productive. I've just done a mass make. <laughs> <laughs> Partly because I already had probably two of every one of them made ahead of time. And then I made one with you. So um, I've got three of each. That's a good start. Um, but yeah. Let's plan. Let's plan mass makes. Uh, which do you want to do first? We could we could just start while they're fresh. 
we could start this Thursday. Glennis is going to say, let's do these two first. Well, do one to of hers. Do one of hers. And well, let's do this one. Well, okay, we'll do one that she likes, and we'll do one, another that's super easy. Actually, that it, that is super easy. Um, wait, there was another one where we cut them in in four inch strips. It's easy if they, if we're cutting them the same for both. Uh, wasn't there another one where we're cutting in four inch strips? No, we scored in four inch strips. Oh, this one. This one we cut in four inch strips. No, I don't like that one. Okay. <laughs> well, that one you can put together with scraps. I don't feel like I need to make a ton of those ahead of time. This yeah. You can pick up scraps that are all, you know, of all the things you used in your book and make one with the leftovers. Yeah. Um, that's that's what I would do with that. Yeah. Um, how about this one? This one is, to me, is not I like that exciting one. Until, until you decorate. I like that one. And I like this one that I folded differently than you did. <laughs> This is the one the cat interrupted me on. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's this one. No, yeah. that's not. No, that's no, not no, no, no. That's this that one. one. That one. That one. This one. And because I use scrap paper, it's too light, so I just folded that flap in. Okay, so I made mine. I'll probably this, make it a pocket or something. So you folded this in. Yeah. Right now, I have it folded over to hold it together. Uh -huh. I made it like an I made it like an envelope actually. So on look, one side. And, and it is, I mean, mine is is um cardstock, but it's very light cardstock. Oh and look, I mine's this paper. In, okay. So it's if paper, you folded paper. this in and just made that into another cut a notch, make yeah, it like another that, cut and then this one will still fold down on top of it. And then if you fold this yeah. one outside and make that yeah. one, then all you're have, doing is yeah. cutting it, cutting the sides make down pockets. like two inches and giving yourself two more pockets. Yep. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Decorate. Sylvia says, yes, Sylvia, hashtag 1000 subs. Let's invite people in and get to that 1000 so I can give somebody all these goodies. Doug is saying, yes, please send out that box of goodies. Move some of the stuff out. <laughs> the stuff <laughs> keeps coming in. More stuff needs to go to people. Give it away. <laughs> you will make Doug very happy if we get to 1000 subs so I can send out this box of goodies. Or two boxes. I like, I like this one too, but I'd cut it in half. I'd make. Two uh, of them. Oh, the folder. Yeah, I'd make two of them. I do too, and and it's a large folder, but yeah, I would like it on a smaller version too. Yeah. So. Um, I'm gonna make some of those. Okay, so guys, quick vote then. So if we do mass make this Thursday, you want to do this one? This one with the. I think everybody liked this one. Yeah, the that one. And in the two pockets. Yeah, and the, and the fold up and fold down. I like the okay. same one Sterlinus does. <laughs> okay, and so. that one. Or do we want to do a real simple one with it? And then the following week, do this one. Yeah, you can do that. Because I like I like this little fold over one. Do you want me to take this one and cut it down? And we'll do that. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah, that one's cute too. I like the, that one. Um, the, um, yeah, the stair step. The stair yeah. step accordion card. Yeah, okay. I like that. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Thursday, we're going to mass make these two. Saturday night, um, I'll just change what we were going to do Thursday because we can do that on another time. Not a big deal. Uh, Saturday night, we are going to do a night of altered paper clips. Now, for those of you who were here a couple weeks ago, we did altered paper clips on a Thursday mass make. Um, people didn't make enough. Everybody wants more paper clips made. And some um, people missed it. Some people missed it. They can watch it on replay, but there's a lot of people that like to be here live when we do it. But here's the thing we are going to, if you want to do paper clips, you could watch that one because I did show how to do a couple. Um, but Saturday night, Debbie is going to, um, show how to make one that she made that everybody loved and commented on in the pictures. Uh, Candy is going to show um, how to make one that is super cute. Everybody's going to love. They haven't seen it yet. It'll be a surprise. Oh, they might have seen it on, I, I oh, think it was did you scrapbooking with me. Uh, no, I think oh. it was scrapbooking with well, me. Did don't it. tell them. It'll be a surprise. Oh, it's uh, not like it's brand new. It's, you know, no, it's people not. have done it, but it's been Mine's, a long, long time since yeah. I did it, so people might not have seen it around. So, but, you know, everybody has their own um, 
their own you know version and candy's is obviously super cute because all her stuff is so she's going to show that one and then i will have um two or three probably just two i think that's plenty i think four is plenty so if debbie shows one and we spend a half an hour making that one mass making candy shows one we spend a half an hour mass making then i'll have two more ready to go and we can um mass make those as well and come away with a whole bunch of different types so even if you were at the thursday before they will be different paper clips than what we had before but if there's a particular type of paper clip that you just want to have more of on hand you are welcome to make any kind you want so um oh for heaven's sake oh for heaven's sake what what that one and the black one <laughs> uh, hard to tell which one she was talking about because the delay is so bad that oh uh, yeah <laughs> Are you talking about this this little guy, the little meandering yeah, guy? Never, yeah. That black one? or I think that needs to be a Saturday night and just make a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, I was thinking of this to be a Saturday night. Um, yeah. Once you've got the cut down, you really can whip these up. and You can, but I just think. Flat, so, yeah. We can still, it's kind of be like a mass make Saturday night, but. Yes. but and it would not. be great to have a bunch of these on hand that are just to this point. Yeah. So they've got it, pockets but they're not attached to anything. So you could choose whether you want to attach this in the book. Okay. Yeah. Th and on a Saturday out. night, you can, you can actually decorate one too. Yeah. Show them how you check decorate. this out. What if you put it in a book and you glued this down here and you glued this down on the next page and you open it up and you have this whole little flip in your book. Yeah, that's cool. And then, you know, go right on. So to have them like this ready to go, not, you could do a cover on a couple, you know, you could do this kind of thing on a couple with a belly band, but yeah. have them ready to go like this that you can use any which way you wanted. If you wanted to put them together and make a entire little tag journal out of those or whatever, you can whip those up in 10 minutes. I love that. So yeah, okay, we'll do that on a Saturday night as well. Um, I don't think there was anything else. Uh, Sylvia did a mass make. Totally okay with what you've already decided. Awesome. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, thank you. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> it's, I know. Let's just all go eat a roast con pollo and forget it all. I'm good with that. <laughs> Sylvia and I will sit back and do that. Anyway, all right, let's go make some stuff. Let's go clean some house. Let's go, let's go get some <laughs> orders packed. Everybody wants their orders. That's what I need to do. So I'm going to head out and go pack orders now. Okay. okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you right, hanging ladies. out with us. Love you. It's been fun as usual. Love you guys. It has been totally fun. Bye. <laughs>